Do you know what? I swear this morning it was daybreak as we drove in. As I came round Mapplebury Green, it was definitely, definitely going slightly, slightly light. So that's a good sign, isn't it? Uh, also, I've realised that I'm on air the morning after the clocks go forward, so I lose an hour's sleep this. And it's over Easter weekend as well, which I mean all weekend. I won't have a sleepless night about it anyway. Thank you, Hannah, for that. She's laughing, that's the main thing. Anyway, shall we do today's early bird? Tweet, tweet, there we go. Now, this is, a, you can't choose which colour you have because it's one of eight colours, so it'll be whatever comes out the box, right? Now, also, yours won't have a blue magnet on it. That's a cover to stop it scratching. We've already opened these. These are our studio samples. That one's got to go back to the warehouse. Our cat's told me on no account must I take that blue film off. You're wondering what it is? It's a magnetic slip band. Here we go. Ready? Ready? You ready? Live, Devin. Look, got the light shot. Ready? <laughs> Bit gladiator-ish, isn't it? Not that kind of gladiator. Oh, I've got gladiators. Well, it's funny because I used to know a gladiator. Yeah, he was one. Of, he was one of Pierce Brosnan's stunt doubles on the Bond film. Can't remember his name now, but I just remember playing to him. Oh, I need a signed photo of my nephew. He's called John. <laughs> <laughs> and it stayed on my mantelpiece for years. Anyway, should be five ninety nine. Not staying at five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Now remember, you do not choose the colour, and it's one of eight colours, isn't it, Hannah? I'll move my head out of shop. One of eight colours. Shall we show the eight colours? That's you. Yeah, I'm just tucking myself away. There you go. Random colour selected. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, is that eight? One, two, three, four, seven. Seven colours. I do apologise. I do, I've always said eight in the past. I'm sorry. Don't know. I think so. Uh, anyway, because uh, uh, Dan broke my, my, my cup the other day, didn't he? So I've got paper. I've got what? I've got another one which I forgot to bring in. 4 99 Keep going through. Keep going through. Oh, hang on. Jenny says, morning, John. What a fabulous shirt. Are you ever grumpy? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hannah's, Hannah's got to put her two penneth in here now. Yeah, Jenny, come and do work experience. She'll meet the grumpy John Scott. Good morning, everyone, says Tracy. Pam Minihani says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. What a fabulous shirt. Uh, Claire says, morning, John. Oh, lovely shirt. June says, morning, gorgeous. Shirley says, morning. Sue says, morning. Julie Vaughan says, good morning. Dee says, good morning. Looks like it's going to be a nice day in Norfolk. Good morning, John and all at South Street. Have one. It's Oh, have one of these. It's brilliant. I wonder what she was talking about then. Have one. It's brilliant. From Joy in Peterborough. Thank you, Joy. Josephine in the Midlands, how are you? Good morning. Uh, random colour selected. There you go, four ninety nine. It's. Do you know what this shirt is? One of my oldest, oldest, oldest shirts I've got. I know. I just like. To, we've got to that end of the rail again. You see, to me, I go down the rail, don't I, like that? But now I have my new Aliso iron at home. Four ninety nine. Yeah, the theme this week is they've all been the oldest shirts I own. It was, so yesterday's was the blue and yellow floral, and the day before, yeah, and then there was one, what to wear the day before, I can't remember now, <gasps> something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, that's me, 4 .99. Oh, good morning from sunny North Wales, says Julian Flincher, Julie uh, uh, Borada. Morning, John, loving the shirt from Steph in East Sussex, thank you very much indeed, uh, 4 .99 this is, £4.99 pence. And I remember, now, if you multiply, now, uh, what it is, is there's a great big bucket of them in the warehouse. So if you buy three, they'll just put the hand in like that and take out three. So you might end up with three purple ones. Who knows? Uh, what do you want to put it on your ankle for? Well, one for you, one for me. Christmas presents. People have started their Christmas shopping already. Yep, four ninety nine. I could show you them all over my body if you wanted me to. Ankles, wrists, necks. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, look. There you go. Do you know what I found? I, I had to, when I'm for my John Scott's Threads of Life, I do this um, annually. We do John Scott's uh, life story. My, me, me, not John Scott's, my life story. And every month, before, while Daniel's editing it, he says, oh, I need pictures of... So I have to go through my old boxes of photos and I found myself, when I did um, 
The Tempest at Theatre Clue. We had to make these big leather quilted jackets and everything, which I nicked one of them. And there's a, part, a picture of me at a party in Stoke-on-Trent with this big leather jacket on, a great big studded dog collar, and all these, like, um, wristbands and everything, all studs on and everything. That, that was what normal wear for me in those days. When, I used to, I, when we were filming in Aberystwyth, I've got a picture, not filming, doing, uh, going on tour in Aberystwyth, I've got a picture of me with about six belts on, with, like, bullet... Uh, uh, why? I was into, well, no, that was, that was belts, jackets. I was into just kind of um, accessories, but with studs on them. Oh, I did it a long time before Jodie Marsh did it. But was that Jodie Marsh? Was that Jodie Marsh? That one? Yeah, a long time, because I was on this morning then. Anyway, 4 99 Right, close the auction. Let's have a look at... T oh, no, it's, uh, no, before we do anything else, it's International Women's Day today. So... Uh, sending love to all the women in the world. Uh, right, we've got an, oh, oh, yes, we've got an international launch. It's only a picture. Uh, anyway, so, oh, no, we've got an international launch of this. I thought, you, what were you joking about earlier when we were doing the launch? And you, no, no, oh, no, the ruler. <laughs> I, I've got a photograph of a ruler that I've never seen before, so Hannah thinks it's a launch. Anyway, here's the menu. Right, so we've got new fabric collections at 8 o'clock. That's right now. I'm only moving across one table. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got Catherine Wright's brand new pattern, international launch, and I think she means exclusive, not international. It is international and it is exclusive. There they are. There they are. Now, we haven't got either of those fabrics. <laughs> Neither. We haven't got... It just shows that you can either have it... Uh, sleeveless or with sleeves red thing but now can i can i just tell you something very very quickly we uh last time we had a launch of a catherine pattern we sold out we got 100 more we sold out we got 100 more so today we've bought 300 we've bought 300 of them today so we can't sell out today unless you prove us wrong because they're very popular they're already going on pre-order i'll show you in a minute so there they are sleeveless and with sleeves but neither of those fabrics uh, the, the bundles on the web... I'll tell you that when I get to it. But the bundles on the website are big... And, uh, uh, you can do the largest size with sleeves. Right. So then we get back and we're doing sewing room tools at 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got a book called Sewing Perfect Little Bags and Totes Book. Uh, brand new to us. And Catherine's going to be making this bag from there. And... Uh, oh, I'll tell you that when we get to it. And then 12 o'clock, Overlockers. Plus the John Scott Threads of Life. Because... Today's the last day you'll be able to get it from Sewing Street. So if you want to do it on Split Pay, today's the last day to do it on Sewing Street Split Pay. Oh, it's Paul, Baldy Paul's come in. Uh, well, he's a bit late today, eh, sorry. Uh, right, uh, so there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at Sewing Street, they've all rebranded these, have you noticed? Do you? You're the only one, Ollie. Uh, then you can also message me on Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. Oh, there's loads more. I'll do that now. Uh, Kim says, morning, John. Just got up. Hubby. He's got you on the TV already. Viv said, John, I'm still in bed with a cuppa and you. Uh, Jackie says, bright but chilly here. Delia says, morning, John and team. John says, morning, gorgeous. Michaela Michaela says, good morning. Tracy said, good morning. Pam Minihani says, good morning. So many people coming in. Right. And then the next way is go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Uh, you go to the website, top right-hand corner, you click on watch the show live. Oh, I know what we forgot to say. I've, I had a message for you there, I forgot to say it. Uh, remember the message that Hayley messaged down with and we forgot to say it. Uh, anyway, anyway, click on watch the show live. That's the top right-hand corner. Oh, done that, done that. Sorry, there's the box. That, that, yeah, you were. There's the box where you write the message in. Comes on the bottom later. But here is everything we've got coming up for the next five hours. Brand new fabric. Now, again, we've been told all brand new fabrics be £8.49. Look, they're all £7.99. There's a panel there, panel there for 9 9 10 and a bundle. Now, that, this, this fabric here, it's gorgeous, that, that Marrakesh. Uh, that's new to me. I've not seen that one before. Obviously, that's all the bundles, all, that's all the different fabrics all muddled up there. Then we get on to Catherine's. There it is. New pattern. Brand new pattern. Exclusive to us. You can make either. Or you can make both if you wanted to. Uh, Catherine's wearing it. We've got them two, two on the mannequins. In fact, those two dresses on the front of the package, the ones we've got on the mannequins. Uh, so brand new, brand new. It's going already, going already. And look at the bundles of fabric. Three metres of fabric is enough to make the largest size with long sleeves. And there's a lining fabric for the bodice there as well. 
Beautiful. Tools, which Kat set it up already. She's ahead of herself. Sizzle. Oh, have you not? Kat's not uh, Hannah's not seen that for ages. Yeah. Oh, right, there's the exclusive photograph. Got a price comparison coming up for that later. One kilo. Oh, God, I didn't see that on the, on the trolley. Gems. We're doing gems. Oh, Wayne, I, I, it's funny. They asked me to do jewellery maker. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, wait, no, it's not this week. It would, it's uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Anyway, look, uh, where's, where are we up to? Oh, there's the bag. There's the bag. There's the bag. Gorgeous. We're going to crash the price on that, by the way. So how much is there? When you will not be paying sixteen ninety nine for that. Even if you check out now, there's my threads of life. We'll talk about it at 12 o'clock. Uh, then what else? There? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So now, should we start these fabrics? Because these are flipping gorgeous, these. Oh, not the new bundle. Oh, you said this morning that this one was new. Oh, okay. This one then. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I've got that one with, with something else. Isn't it gorgeous? Which is the panel? Well, we'll have to open them and have a look, won't we? So there's four fabrics and one panel, apparently. So that one's obviously a fabric. And this one is as well, because that's the same fabric within the purple. Then this is a lovely, beautiful... Oh, now, didn't we do that shape yesterday? Remember the graduation rock and tiles we did yesterday? Oh, oh that's the pattern. That'll be the panel. I'll show you that last. Then there's this one here with your paisleys. Oh, fabulous. How? Oh, that can't... That's not the panel. That can't be the panel. OK, yours will be cut properly. Can we make a note that they're cut properly, please? They've got blue lines on them. Oh, do you know what they've done? Do you know what they've done? I bet the panel is supposed to be 60 centimetres and the machine's cut it at 50 centimetres. I bet that's what it's done. Yeah. Yeah, look, 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 look. Have we got a picture? Do you say we've got a picture of that? There, look. Right, can we make a note to go to warehouse that that needs to be at the full panel? Yeah, we won't send this one back to the warehouse. So these are all half metres. Normally the panel is 60 centimetres and someone's cut it at 50, that's all. Yours will be a complete panel, I promise. Beautiful. At uh, 41.95, so you get two metres of fabric and the panel. And the panel. These are lovely. Beautiful, isn't it? <clears throat> Christina, I don't know what time the post arrives here because it doesn't come here. It goes somewhere else first, then it has to get filtered through. We've got a new security guard. I'll ask him later. Uh, 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 Annie, uh, Anne says, morning, lovely John. Margaret says, morning, John, Hannah and team. Gorgeous fabrics. Dulce's watching. Blimey, it's early for Dulce, isn't it? Beautiful. Anyway, one, two, three. That's where they sit now, Ollie. Yeah, it started yesterday. Anyway, look, 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 look. So these are half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. Oh, Dulce, what time are we doing brunch on, on Sunday? Got to get my social sorted out because I've got to get back from London in time, you see. Then, of course, that beautiful panel. Yours will be a complete panel. I promise you that. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Have I got them individually as well or just in the bundle? Gorgeous. What's the... Beautiful. We've had a message from Jason. Jason, what you like? He won't be watching, it's fine. Yeah. Gorgeous. I'm surprised he didn't ring me. Well, yeah, exactly. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, <clears throat> that bundle is £41.95. pence. That is stunning. I love it, love it, love it. What should we do first, then? 
Well, I'll do the panel, but I'm going to show you. Look at the picture. We can show you the better picture in a minute, actually. Yours will be cut properly. I promise you that. Yours will be cut properly. It's got, it's got little, it's got, you see, it's got little lines here where you're meant to cut it. It's absolutely gorgeous. But they, what they've done is they've cut this at half a metre when it's actually bigger than half a metre. 9 99 there's Jess arriving. She's early. Bet they all leave early because it's Friday, isn't they? The other Jan says good morning. Donna says good morning. No, they don't work much, Tuesdays and Thursdays. 9 99 Nine, nine, nine. Gorgeous panel, isn't it? Big, big, bold panel, that one. Petra, there was another buffet on Tuesday, though. Oh, Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Oh, when they're all in again. <laughs> nine, ninety nine. He won't know what that means, though, Hannah. Beautiful. Now, they leave the border does carry around all four sides. They chop the bottom and the top off. Oh, look. There you go. There you go. So it's supposed to be 60 centimetres. So, yeah, 60 cent. Yeah. Uh, we won't let that one go back. We'll make sure yours are cut properly. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Baldy pulls in already. You can chase that one up. Right. Then we're going to do this one. I know Paisley. Charlie loves Paisley's, doesn't he? These are satin moon designs for the Blank Quilding Corporation, Petra. Oh, I've been to Petra. It's brilliant. Uh, you can't go there as well. Hannah's just organising her summer holidays. Well, she is. The boyfriend went, but you've just come back from holiday. She went, it's the summertime. Anyway... Uh, Paisley purple and orange, this one's called. Well, there's more than purple and orange in there, isn't there? There's lots going on. Beautiful, whether you use it as a whole, whether you use it make half square triangles, whether you use it as a border, a binding. Seven ninety nine. Why is it only seven ninety nine? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I'll hold it up for you. There you go. Say that again. No, you see, not always correct. Beautiful. Right, then I've got the, this paisley in a bright aqua. Beautiful, isn't it? Very Indian block print. The paisleys would make nice shirts. They would indeed, Jen. You're making me one. It is my colour, this. Hemimorphite, the colour of the Buddha. <coughs> Seven ninety nine. Oh, I've got a bit of a froggy throat today. <coughs> I haven't got your cold, Hannah, for the weekend. Was that not you? Lovely. Uh, medallion and paisley in blue. This one's called. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then I've got exactly the same fabric in a purple. Purple is the same Liverpool. Look, there you go. Ooh, that's rich. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous depth of colour on all of these. Let me hold that one up for you. Patterns within patterns on these, look. Yeah, some pages have got, like, flowers in. Others have got, like, an a inner framework on them. Beautiful, gorgeous these are. Oh, mess you on my bottom. Uh, morning, John and all. Beautiful kimono fabric from Penny. Now, it's really funny because Ben normally says that whenever we have a new fabric, he goes, oh, I'd love to make a kimono out of this. Well, how many kimonos has he got? I, he, yeah. And I said, like, Ken Barlow. And he, what you he said, what are you talking about? I said, Ken Barlow wears kimonos. 
Now, look, that's the shape from yesterday, Shirley's um, Paz ruler, wasn't it? Very busy show yesterday. Now, it's lovely, isn't it? Because not only did you get the colourful, these are the same as the, the shapes out of the panel, but then in the background, look, you've got gorgeous kind of blending of different patterns behind it as well. Tonal, it's called. Tonal patchwork on purple. Oh, be careful. Be careful. I'm down to single figures of this one. Single figures of this one. Oh, Amanda, there should have been. She got so stressed yesterday with the computers and everything that was supposed to be, yeah. She gave up. Um, poor old Catherine's going to be freezing here. I have turned it up, but there's really cold air pumping down. But I quite like it, but Catherine's going to freeze, I'm afraid. She might have to wear a cardi. Right, that's about that, the bundle. So you get the one, two, three, four half metres, plus the panel, le panel, for 41.95. That's why I had it here first. <laughs> right, this one here is flying out on pre-order. Nouveau, Nouveau it's called. Beautiful, gorgeous bundle. Actually, I know it's not. Look, I knew this would be popular. Beautiful. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and a half. Oh, did you get the panel? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's no, three and a half meter fabric. Panel's not in it. Okay, so Hannah made this, but this is where she was getting angry with the computer. So the panel is not in this one. At 55.93, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three and a half meters of fabric. Good, aren't they lovely though? Message on bottle. Well, fabulous fabric just bought the Frond Nouveau collection plus extra of the. Of the what, Pamela? Oh, of the. Uh, striped fabric, which would be wonderful binding. Can't wait. Oh, Pamela. Lovely strong name, that. This just bought the extra of this to do the binding with. Beautiful. Okay, so it's all the fabrics, but not the panel. Why didn't you put the panel in, Hannah? Yeah, but you did write yourself a note, and you still forgot. Oh. Anyway, just stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous colours. Fabulous patterns. Right, now the panel on its own is here. Oh, wow. Perfect cushion front sizes. Look. Why didn't you put this in then, Han? How much is it? $14.99. That's stunning, isn't it? Frond Nouveau Collection, Nouveau Leaves, Pillow Espresso, it's called. Pillow Espresso. I went to look at the new Nespresso machines yesterday because apparently they've done a collaboration with Liberty. Yeah, I couldn't find them. I just meet me. It'll be me. It won't be anybody else. Cat's got one. Oh, she's seen it. Cat's seen it already. I thought you got one. Yeah, no, yeah. I think I'm going to... Because I don't need a new Nespresso machine. Well, uh, the thing is, they do this new... Because the one I've got takes up way too much space on the counters. But they've done this, like, compact one now, like that, which looks gorgeous. Oh, no, I want, I want, which pods has he got? Oh, uh, the, one, the ones mine one has round ones like that. 
but it has a thing in it. So when you put it in the machine, the machine knows whether it's an espresso, a lungi, a pungi, a pongi, a wongi, whatever they're called. So many people. Now, just so you know, it does no, keep that picture up, Ollie. It doesn't have a turquoise board border. That's our new branding. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, just so you know, but you don't get the turquoise border. There, that's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah, you see, now if I'd made a bundle to go with this, I'd have put a turquoise or an aqua in it. <laughs> They do look like painted silks. That's exactly what they look like, Christine. They're just, let me put one down so you can have a good look at it. How beautiful is that? Look, let me get that in the shot there for you. Look. Oh. Looks like someone's painted it, doesn't it? It's not in the mega bundle, remember? Do you know what looked lovely here if you got that Austrian... What's that thing where they punch holes and put threads through? Yeah. Austra Austria or Australia, wherever Mungite comes from. Or is it Mungite? I can't remember now. Shungite. Oh, I get, I get very confused. I don't, I, don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to do my gem training again because I'm not going there because I'm not available that day. And they haven't asked me to do gems on Monday. Question. Morning, John. How wide the squares on the panel? Oh, uh, Kat, could you just chuck me over my tape measure, please? It's in my trolley. Now, where would you like me to measure? I'll measure the actual cream bit. Thank you. That. Right, so they are... I'm, I'm going to measure the cream bit here. Was it Jan, did you say? Yeah, Jan in Chesterfield. I'm just going to do this bit here. So the cream bit is 15 and 7 eighths by, oh, they're not squares, 16 and 3 eighths. They are a tricky eye, but I suppose what you could then do, mm, no. let me measure that one. Just double checking. Yeah. Isn't that funny? I thought they were squares. Beautiful. Right, the panel is not in the mega bundle. Only available on its own there. And how's it doing? Oh, she didn't, she didn't look. I didn't look, John. <laughs> you can tell it's Hannah's last day of the week, can't you? Didn't look. Right, fewer than 20 of these. Fewer than 20 of these. This is three and a half metres of the fabric. I'm going to do them separately now. Oh, mesh on bottom. Thank you, John. Such lovely fabric. Sport of choice. I know, Jan. Jan, I know. Right, so I, which, uh, do you want me to go in any particular order? Oh. She says this, right? So she says this. She goes, everywhere. So I'll pick up the first one. She goes, no, do the one with leaves on it. That's what she'll do. But I'm doing the stripey first. Right, lots of this one's already gone on pre-order. You see, now, if you do do it on binding, when you cut across the fabric like that, that means your binding's going to be gorgeous. Pamela. That's lovely, isn't it? So, look at the colours in here. You've got, like, um, let's start here. Rust, green, a paler green, a cream and an ecru, a mustard, a dark brown, and a rose. Oh, and a pale green. Beautiful. No grey. I can see it's a border. Yeah, exactly. But also, imagine if you did half square triangles of it. That'd be nice. Seven ninety nine by half a metre. Tossed, oh, it's called tossed leaves. There's no mention of a stripe. That's weird. Oh, that's a bit worrying. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see what the tossed leaf one is called later, won't it? Beautiful. This is what you get, OJUQ03. 
Is anybody going to update us on um, uh, uh, Big Brother? I didn't watch it again last night. And then I went to watch uh, Married at First Sight Australia, but it's already like eight episodes in. Okay. Go straight to us in. I don't know who anybody is, though. Yeah, Sharon Johnson was only in for five days, so and she's got a room with an ensuite bathroom. Right now, I'm going to move on to this one, which is O B U Q eighty. Oh, I like these. The shapes are lovely. Now, for some reason, I think my nan used to have bags of sweets like this when I was little. They were all kind of like curvy shapes and everything. And I don't want to say they were licorice, not licorice, but that there were something spicy about them. Were they what? Yeah, boiled sweets, yeah, boiled sweets, yeah. This is called Mosaic in Rust. Oh, because I've got Mosaic in Green in a minute, I think. There's, no, there's nobody from X Factor in it. No, there's two X Factor judges, and there's Ekin Sue, who was Love Island, and I don't think anybody else is from a reality show. The boy from Corrie. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, Dave. Is he called David with no trousers? Yeah. It'll have taken you three weeks holiday. Anyway, gorgeous. There was a time when you couldn't be in a, you couldn't do reality shows and be in a soap because that's why they got rid of Barry Grant, not Barry Grant, Barry from EastEnders because he went off to do Panto, didn't he? So they killed him off. Somebody pushed him down. Was it Janine? Oh, was it Janine? The, the sweets were called satin cushions, says Christine. All right, well, it, don't want to fight with you, Christine, but Roxana says they were called winter mixtures. Were they cinnamon twists? No. Uh, they were called cough candies. No, I know cough candies, Susan. They weren't cough candies. But they were, the same, they were the same hard sweetness, but they were like, they were definitely the shapes of this. Right, so I'm going to do this one now in green. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got such depth to it, that one. Uh, mosaic in evergreen. Not just green, evergreen. Soft as an easy chair, soft as the morning air. It's Evergreen. I'm singing Evergreen by Barbara Streisand. Streisand. Oh, did Will Young do a version of it as well? Now, you know Will Young's family live in my village, don't you? Yeah. Seven ninety nine. Anna's granddad used to like Will Young. Seven ninety nine. You had such a strange childhood, didn't you? What was the program you used to sit and watch? Last summer. So they went to Homefirth on their holidays because Hannah was a child and loved last of someone. I bet you can't wait to be an old lady then. Yeah. Is the, is the upstairs camera moving? When do you look when the, when on the upstairs camera it was going like that? Look, watch. Oh, it's somebody upstairs. Could be there. Oh, Scott's just arrived as well. Oh, he's got a very big winter coat on. It's not that cold out. You know those great big black puffer coats that go to the floor? He's got one of those on today. Could be a free gift. Then we've got... Now, this is the one I imagined they were going to call tossed leaves. I've got it in green and I've got it in rust. This one is called tossed leaves. I put the green one in, yeah? Yeah. Spruce, he's next door. And he was on yesterday. 
They were called scented bonbons. No, the bonbons had um, bonbons had um, sherbet on the outside, didn't they? They had toffee on the inside. These were like boiled sweets, and they were in a kind of almost. What's the thing that Jane uh, Greenoff makes where she folds that one up and that one? Not a biscuit new. Is it a biscuit new? Where she folds the corners up and everything. That's what they were like. Anyway, morning, John says Hillary. Oh, we go. Morning, John. I think the sweets are called scented satins shaped like twisted pyramids. Right, they were definitely shaped like twisted pyramids. Who's that from? Amanda. Scented satins. We're getting closer now. Oh, another message. Uh, morning. These fabrics are great cut with the Creative Grids Crazy 8 or 6 rulers. So much dimension and detail. Oh, Susie. That's our Susie, that one, isn't it? Uh, Susie, I've got your um, thingy quarter, stripology quarters coming up later. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Uh, this is terracotta toss leaves. Stop it, John, stop it. I thought, oh, I'm in trouble now. I'm 88, got far too much dash to get through, and you bring out this fantastic Front Nouveau fabric. Don't do that from B in Suffolk. It's not my fault, B. B, get this and use it first. Oh, hang on, Kat's got pictures of the sweets. No. Let me, let me have a look. They're those, sh they're, oh, they were those shapes, but I don't remember them being black and white. They're humbugs, aren't they? Yeah. They're called Frit something pyramids, those ones. No, they were that shape, but they were kind of, they were that colour. Anyway, seven ninety nine. Beautiful terracotta, that one. Two more fabrics with lovely big print on them. Oh, these are going to be like the... But these are like the, um, the panels, aren't they, these? Oh, that's nice. In rust. Look. <laughs> Hannah likes the leaves, she says. Which ones, Hannah? <laughs> Seven ninety nine. You see, what I would have done is I'd have gone, I'd have made the appointment, then I'd have gone and left. I'm going to tell you very quickly, so you don't know what we're talking about. I'll, I'll do it nice. Then. So Hannah has to go to a place to get a bus, to get a train, to get home, and everything. Um, and she got to the place and suddenly realised she needed a comfort break. But there's nowhere to go for a comfort break apart from a really dodgy pub at the end of the road, right? She didn't want to go in there. So she looked at all the shops thinking, who's going to have a, like a restroom, a toilet sort of thing? The only place that had the toilet was, well, she thought, was the place where you get your nails done. So she ran in and she said, do you have a toilet? And they said, yeah, yeah, it's in the corner. So, so then she felt obliged to have her nails done. So instead of paying a pound for the toilet, she paid £30 to have her nails done. I said, I hope you went twice for £30. Yeah, exactly. Seven, I'd have gone in and gone, have you got a loo? I'd just said, yes, use it. And they go, thank you, and walked out. Is it where you go to have your nails done normally? Okay. This is nice, look. That, I like this one, this dark. Half the stock of this one's gone. Espresso. This one's called Espresso. Oh, no. Susie said she's struggling to watch this morning. The app and the Facebook keep freezing. Mine are all right, Susie. It must be where you live. That, I love this one. Frond Nouveau Espresso Leaves. Panel on its own. It's not in the bundle. Yeah, over half the stock of the panel's gone. I'm not surprised. There you go, look. Oh, beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. You get four big squares. Well, they're not quite a square. Not quite a square. Remember, you don't... Oh, there you go.
Oh, you're going, I've got to rush straight off because I'm doing a talk at the WI this afternoon. You won't because you'll forget. Beautiful. I like the way the brown in here is uh, like kind of blotchy. Mottled, that's a better word. Bundle, you do not get the panel in the bundle, remember. Single figures of the bundle. Single figures of the bundle now. Knew this one would be popular. Three and a half metres, seven different fabrics there. So when you buy it in the bundle, you get a half metre of each. It's already cut. Uh, and then if you want it by, you know, if you want more to make a frock or extra to make binding or something, then you have to buy that separately. Keep going through now. 55.93 this bundle. Three and a half metres. Beautiful. Beautiful. 55.93, that's going to sell out. Marrakesh in blue. Oh, these are nice. Now, these aren't brand new today, but I've never seen them before. Oh. Okay, so I've got the bun. Uh, all of these are in the bundle, but I haven't got them all by the half metre. One of those isn't available by the half metre. So this is Blue Stonehenge Marrakesh collection. That's two completely different places, though, isn't it? Stonehenge and Marrakesh. Yes. Uh, what's the name of like this? Rebecca, did Rebecca Reed launch this? Oh, there you go. She had a lot to say about Stonehenge, I'm sure, and Marrakesh. I imagine. I think it's where she buys her hair dye from. Now, have you not been to Marrakesh? I went to Kanitra and Rabat when we were filming Being Human. It's lovely. I love going to that, to the souks. I don't know if it's the same now, because this was 20 odd years ago, wasn't it? All the spices. The only thing that I don't like about the Moroccan markets, you can be walking along looking at lovely jalabas and jewellery and everything, and suddenly be a, plate, a table of pig's heads and pig's hearts and things like that. Forty-seven ninety-four. This one. Stonehenge Marrakesh collection. Six different fabrics. Now, not all six of these available on their own. So, if you do want all of them, you do have to buy the bundle. Gorgeous. Right. So, individually. <coughs> that must be that one. Ending 79. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Linda Ludovico designed this. Isn't it beautiful? $7.99. Beautiful, isn't it? Quilting, do it for quilting, dressmaking, whatever you want to make out of it. It's lovely. Now, I'm saying, oh, I've never seen this before. It's only been on at six o'clock in the morning before. So a lot of you might not have seen it. It might have been on, was it on the birthday week then, obviously, with Rebecca? There you go, look. So, hang on, so you'd cut them out like... Like that. Well, the circle. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. So you'd cut out a nine-inch block. No, no, you, you wouldn't. If you did a nine-inch block, you could slice it between there with your quarter-inch seam allowance in between there and there, right? And then you'd put the blocks on point. 
Is that will that go with your tumbling block design then that you've never finished? Anyway, why are you talking about making quilts? You only make quilts when you're depressed or sad or lonely. See, Steph's got a proper job now. He's out working all the time. With girls allowed. And who was the other one? C to C next week. Oh, was it last night? Uh, right, what's the next one? Yeah, little Paulin. Oh, what's he doing down here? This is Geo Aqua. Geo Aqua, aren't they? It's lovely. The way all the different patterns all blend and merge into each other. What's Laura doing in so early? They start this early on Cob Hobby Maker. Oh, I didn't think they came until 11. Yeah, but she has to, because she drives so fast, but she has to w worry about the traffic. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful traditional Geo Aqua. So I've only got four hours fifteen to go, huh? Just have another lem sit, that'll make her feel better. Half the stocks in baskets, make sure you check out on this one. Beach bags. Okay, two of the same pattern in light and dark. Have you? Oh, yeah, 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 there they are. So which one first? Light. A lot of this will be brand, brand new. She didn't get up at six o'clock during birthday week. You won't have seen this. Beautiful, seven ninety nine for half a meter, hundred percent cotton, forty four inches wide. It is a bit santangly, isn't it? Lovely. This is called two tone blooms. Yeah, they are like mandalas, aren't they? Beautiful. Less than 10, fewer than 10. Fran says lovely fabrics this morning. Lovely fabrics every morning, Fran. Always. These are gorgeous, though. Yeah, the, at 94. <laughs> Hannah's not having a very good day today. But it needs to have a label put on it saying not to be sent out. Beautiful, isn't it? Like a Turkish... Rug. Moroccan, Moroccan, not Turkish, Moroccan. Min oh, oh, hang on. Nini. I wonder what a Nini Gino, Gio is. <laughs> well, the last one didn't have Nini written on it, did it? I wonder if it's meant to be mini. Yeah. Lovely. No, I haven't finished these yet. 
Oh, OK, so the, that one's the one that sold out then. Right, here's the last one of the blue ones. Is it what? <laughs> uh, this one's called Mixed Blooms, this one. It is bold, this one. Not bold, like baldy Paul, bold. Seven ninety nine. I don't know who gave him that nickname. It wasn't me. <laughs> What's well, not me? No, no, no. I wouldn't have called him Baldy Paul. I'd have called him. What do you call those? You know, like the boy racers in their car who drive like lying down like that, so you can't see the head through the windscreen. Not, have you not seen him drive? Right. So he's got a zooped-up car with big wheels. And he drives, his music is really, really loud, right? And then he sits so low in his seat, you can only see that much of his head, like this. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, Geo Aqua Fabric, beautiful. Oh, love these fabrics and colours. I'm thinking of making a wall hanging for my hot tub. Oh, Natalie, Natalie, my cold dip tub still in its box. Well, I've, I'll have to put it up at some point when I... Bundle one more time. You don't get the tape measure. One, two, see, one of these fabrics is only available in the bundle. It's not available on its own anymore. Yeah, I bought one of those cold water therapy things, but it had a hole in it. So they sent me a new one, but I haven't had time to put my new one up yet. Forty-seven ninety-four. We have put it in the back garden, only. I'll start it as soon as I fill it up. You're supposed to do it three times a day, yeah. That never used to be an issue for you. Beautiful. Right, yo. Now I've got the same. Oh, am I going to have time to do this? Look at the time. Oh, no, and I love these spicy colours. Look. Mega bundle, single figures now. Single figures. One, two, three, four, five, six. 47.94. Beautiful. Am I doing them individually very quickly? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, only five of these. It'd be interesting if it's the same one. Right. Where do you want to go first? This one. This, it, there wasn't one like this in the blue. No, because look, this is, in, this is in squares. Look, look, look. Can you see? Oh, maybe it was. But actually, when you look at it, it's like patchwork. Maybe it was, I just didn't notice. No. No, it wasn't. The other one, the blue one wasn't like that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. A bit of fluff from the fabric at the back of my throat. I'll just take a slurp of my ginger. That's gorgeous. That. Oh, this is called Stonehenge. Oh, the other one was called Stonehenge, wasn't it? I've just seen the way they've written it. Um, traditional Geo Sunset, that one. Yeah, this one. This is one Hannah would cut them out, put them in a block and put them on point. Would you do the same with this colourway? Wine. You see, if, I, if I, somebody gave me a glass of wine that colour, I think I'd throw it away. It's all up. It's gorgeous. I love the greens and the golds in there. Then, this one, 28. Oh, you see, I think I, oh, sold out. Why are we showing it then? 
Oh, sold out, sold out, right? Yeah, this one. Be careful, there's only three, very popular, this one. Only three meters, this one left. Beautiful, isn't it? Which one? Right, so that was, isn't it funny? So that one and that one, the same two that sold out in the, weird. There you go. This is that blendy one, isn't it? The blurry one. Ninny, it's Ninny again. I wonder what that means, Ninny, then. Seven ninety nine. The bundle again, because not all of those are available by the half meter on their own. Six mega bundles left. There you go. It's very rich, isn't it? Morning, John. Lovely to see you, says Diane. Good morning, Diane. Forty-seven ninety-four. Oh, it's freezing in here. Catherine's going to go crazy. I know, I know, but I put it up hotter for her when she, uh, during prep, and it's got colder. If anything. I'll run and put it up again in the break. Right, don't go anywhere. Brand new exclusive international launch of Catherine's brand new dress design. They're already selling. There they are. You can have it in with, with sleeves or without sleeves. Got gorgeous bundles of fabric and she will be here in four minutes to show you how to make it. Uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24 seven. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Guess who's here? Only Catherine Wright. How are you, Catherine Wright? I'm very well, thank what you. What a lovely dress you're wearing. Thank you very much. I made it myself. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> right, now, I've got to tell you, right, when Catherine launches a pattern, they always sell out. So what normally happens is in after the first 10 minutes, uh, we have to go, oh, Hannah, can you ask the management to get some more? Then they sell out and we have to go, oh, Hannah, ask the management to get some more. So this time we just bought loads. But 300, was 300 we bought, didn't we? Yeah. 300 we bought, right? She's, she's nervous, right? <laughs> she's right. They're already going. They're already <laughs> selling. So you don't need to worry. So, right, so a quarter of the stock's gone already. Oh, okay. Right, before we even started. <laughs> so don't you worry. Right, now, first of all, why has it taken so long? What do you mean? This has been speedy for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but just explain for the people at home, because you, you say, oh, I'm going to design a new dress. Yes. We all expect it the next week, right? Yes, I'll, just, I'll talk you through the process. Yes, I like. because, because yeah. I think people realise, and I'm not mean patronising to anyone, but the process of drawing... Oh, oh, OK, you have the idea. OK, you have so the idea. I have an idea, and I do have a lovely lady who helps me yeah. as well. Um, so I have a lovely idea, and we make up a twirl. And the twirl, we make up the twirl to see what it looks like on me and to get that right. Once we're happy with that, uh, my lovely lady who helps me goes away and grades it on all the different sizes. So then we get some test patterns done and we make all the sizes right. and try them on different people. So I've had lots of lovely guinea pigs in my craft centre trying things on to see if they're working out the right size. And the people, we have to 
The people that make those, are they, do you just give them the pattern? And... No. Well, so uh, myself and my lovely helper, Kath, right. we've made up the samples because we can do it really fast. OK. Um, so we like have a day where we're literally cutting and making. Yeah. Um, try them on lots of people. Then we may have to go back and tweak the pattern a bit, move darts around for smaller or larger sizes. Uh -huh. So when we've got that and we're happy with the pattern, so I then get my pattern, final sort of pattern thing. That then goes off to my graphic designer who makes it look nice. Right. So she puts the different lines on. She puts all the instructions on because my test patterns don't have any of those instructions. No, no, on your, at all. your test patterns will be like a pattern that I will have cut when I'm making yes. a costume that only I have to read. So Absolutely. I can scriggle on whatever. So I want. my graphic designer makes it look beautiful so everyone can understand it. I have to write the instructions and photograph all the steps. And then I give that to the graphic designer to make it look, it look beautiful. Then I have to arrange a photo shoot so that I've got a nice picture for the front of my pattern. Yeah. Um, and then finally, after all that, and we've proofread it, I send it to the printer. And then I say to Jess, we can do a pattern now. Yeah, so, uh, hang on, <laughs> who folds it? Um, the, my printer does fold it. Oh, for me. OK. Because yes. okay. a lot of printers um, don't do that. They just send them in the sheets. And no, my it. printer does fold it, but he does, I have everything printed in different places. So me and my hubby do pack all the patterns. OK, so you get yes. a cover, you get the pattern pieces, and you get the instructions. Yes. You sit there with three piles. And then we have a lovely evening where we've, we've put it all together. Oh. <laughs> And that's, that's why it takes so long. And but it, 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 of course, it's not the only thing I do no, in my life. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. So you've got... So, so, so we just want you to know, for your £17, how much work actually goes in and how many people are involved in the makeup. Right, over 100 have gone already. So if it'd been a normal day, I'd have gone, selling out, can we ask the management to get some more? You see, that's how this works. That's how these... Now, the thing about Catherine's design, now I can say this, she can't, right, is she makes them simple without them then looking like a simple... You know what I mean? You've got the style, you've got the everything, but she makes it as simple as possible to make. Is that what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. Yeah. I want them to be beginner-friendly. Exactly, yes. but not look like a beginner-friendly no. dress. No, exactly. Do you know what I mean? So, as you can see, it's got a really low... Now, OK, so how tall are you? I am about five foot three. OK, so if somebody is taller than you or shorter than you, is yes. it easy to make it longer or shorter? It is. Um, we have short and length and lines on the pattern. If they... On, the bodice one that I've got here, you will see there's oh, a short and we'll length and line. Can you go if through overhead, overhead. Ollie, on that one? Yeah, so there's a short and length and okay. line there. There's yeah. even a width line there. Perfect. That's what and, the it's, and the same on the skirt, there's a short and length and line as well. OK, now just while it's there, while Ollie's got a picture of it, what are all those lines all over it then? So Tell these are your different sizes. Right. And then this is your dart. Right, because obviously and the dart changes place and size to size. Absolutely. And this is a bodice that's cut on the grain, on the bias rather. Right. So that's your grain line, so you position it correctly. OK, now that's going to frighten people that it's on the bias. Yes, but, but it shouldn't no. because there's a lovely diagram in the instructions to show you how to lay it out. And because you've got your grain line, all you've got to remember is your grain line arrow goes parallel to your salvage on your fabric. And as okay. long as you do that, you'll be fine. And is there anything else on there? Does it tell me how many I've got to cut out? It tells like you, yes, two in the main fabric, two in the lining fabric. Okay. Now, you also need to know that the pattern paper, it's not, it's not the really, really heavy one that's difficult to put a pin through, but it's not tissue, is it? It's, you've oh, gone no, with I've spent a long time finding this paper. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a paper that's going to last, because obviously you're going from a size 6 to a 26 in here, so if you are going to make it for lots of different people and things, you're going to be cutting out different sizes. Or, if, 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 I'm not going to make a dress, but I, my sh shape fluctuates enormously, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So once you've got this, now, how do I know what size to make for myself? So on the back of the pattern, yep. we've got a lovely chart. Your I've most important bit here is your bust. Do say this again? Your most important size that you're measuring for is your bust size, because it's not really got a waist. It's, it's oh, a very empire high... line, yes. empire line, yeah. So, oh, and so you see, that's really flattering for an awful lot of ladies because yeah. you don't see your tummy, do you? And right. it's very loose over the hips as well, you see. There's a lot of room in there for yes. your cake. So it's still elegant. So it's like a Bridgerton dress. A little bit. That's what bit. it's like, yeah. Right. Um, right, now, we haven't got a picture of this on the website, so we're suggesting you either take a good look now or take a screenshot of that now. 
We, the, the bundles of fat, you don't need to worry about the, the fabric at the moment because we've got bundles of three meters, which means you can make the largest size with sleeves. But if you want to know what size that you want to make for yourself, then the sizes are all, well, when you get yours home, you'll see. You'll see the sizes here. Now, what else do I need? Do I need a zip? No, no zips, no fastenings. You might want to put a press stud here if you're worried that it will gape. Yeah. That's it. But then, but then also with a V like this, some people go, well, actually, see, on that orange one that's on the stand there, it's the blue stand, that V looks, actually looks higher. But you can wear like a little, uh, not Liberty bodies, but a little camisole, camisole underneath yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. You don't want yeah. that plunging V or whatever. Uh, so we've got the sizes. So on here, you've got your body measurements and the finished garment measurements. And can I you, tell you, John, oh, yes. that the body measurements, they are based on a high, a high street brand, well right. high street brand, they are pretty true to size. We have made virtually every size. We've tried them, we've gone like, what size are you? They go, oh, I wear a six or I wear a 10. We've tried it on them and it's been a good fit. Perfect. So we're really happy with the sizing on this actually. Right, you know you're worried that no, no one are gonna go, right? <laughs> Nearly 150 have gone now. Oh, okay. So that you can relax now. You can relax now. You can re I know it's horrible, because I was the same when I came on to sell my John Scott's Threads of Life, I was like, well, I'm as if nobody buys it well, after exactly. all this work and everything. I mean, but I like it, but it doesn't mean anyone No, no, but it. the thing about your patterns is you've made them so that it's going to suit a size six and it's going to suit a size 26 really suits as well. suits everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because, I think because it's, because it's quite flattering. So it doesn't matter where your lumps and bumps are, it kind of disguises them. Yeah, my next, you just did what my next question was. Are there pockets in it? Oh, there's pockets. Of course yeah. there's pockets. Our first while didn't have pockets, and I just went, well, that's no good. We've got our pockets. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> also, uh, uh, the, the sleeveless one, there's nothing stopping you making a sleeveless one for summer, and then uh, also making one with sleeves and everything. But you can wear, like, a, a thin pole neck or something like that under it for winter and everything, depending on what fabric you've made out of and things like that. Uh, is Catherine... Is Catherine's dress pattern novice? I think that... For a you mean, is it beginner-friendly? Is that what you're definitely, thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, because uh, the only the only thing that is going to frighten you is the fact that it, the front is on a bias. And as long as you don't manhandle it and stretch it, you'll be absolutely fine, won't yeah. you? Also, depending on what fabric you use, because we've got different fabrics here. But, um, right, so let me just show you the instructions manual. So you've got all your pattern pieces there. So that's for You've got the lovely envelope that it comes in. Now, the envelope has got... Uh, things here, right, that you can write your notes in. So if you make it the first time and you found something, not tricky, but you're like, watch the underarm seam or what, anything that you want to remind you when you make it next time. So that, yeah, Hannah needs one of these for every part of it. She needs one for today. because Did you get a piece of paper in the break? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's making a list of things she's got to talk about. So like, she, she needs a list to make a list sort of thing. Right, you can also keep now, if somebody has an issue... And, or doesn't understand something, <coughs> especially if you're saying it's beginner friendly, out of all of these ways, which is the best way? Because you've got here, I uh, don't know what these are, website, I've Instagram, Facebook, and what's the top one? Is there an email there? There's an, oh, is that email? No, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's the web, oh, hang on, no. I've got two websites, oh no. One is the make the, this top oh. stitch, and then the other one is your Leicester yes. craft Well, you centre. can use any of the ways to contact me, to be quite honest. But you honest. don't mind people messaging going, Not I don't cool. understand the sleeve Not or whatever. No. Okay, so that's the main thing there. Right, and then you also get your booklet with all your instructions in. Again, with how to get in touch with Catherine there. Look, you see, how to cut it out. <coughs> now, you see, I didn't know this. They normally do that with trousers, but it's so you can see what it looks like when you're sitting down, because sometimes skirts get in the way, or they, if there is a skirt, this one isn't, but... Or and you, you spend may more be time somebody who doesn't walk a lot, who is mainly sitting Yeah, down. exactly, exactly. Uh, then you've got here for the bodice, you've got everything really... Look, every single bit is photographed for you. We changed fabric on, on the last page. We suddenly changed fabric. Well, there's one with, you see, there's a, one without sleeve step and then there's one with sleeve step. Oh, OK. That's why. Oh, I think think. that's why the fabric changed there. OK, and all of that, everything is there. Now, there's a small queue on the phone lines, but don't worry. They're getting through them, but don't worry. We haven't, OK, almost 200 have gone now. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, you stop can worrying. I'll stop worrying now, John. Yeah, stop worrying. <laughs> uh, OK, can you tell me what fabric you've used for the dress you're wearing? It hangs lovely. Uh, Jackie in Steeple Clayton. Oh, that sounds posh, doesn't it? Uh, we've got that fabric coming up in a minute. 
You have, yes, you have. Yeah, I've that got one. that fabric coming up in a minute. The, this fabric and the one behind, we haven't because they, they were my, original. They were my thing. Son, but original. My thing. last question before we go on is what's your angel policy? Do you, do, uh, can people just make them as much as they want to? Well, for themselves, of course. But if they, um, if they, you, you can't make it and sell it. Okay, that's fine. That's all we. That's all we do. And don't, and d never photocopy the pattern and pass the pattern on. No. That's what we ask you to do. Right. Okay. So that's that. 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 Well, almost two hundred have gone now. So that's good. Fabric-wise, now we what we've got is we've got three different types of fabric now. If you see, I'm going to do that kind of fabric first. And this was so nice to sew. It's lovely. Right, so look, so these are, th so this is the one that you're wearing now. So this is the clover one. Now, there's three meters in this bundle, so now that's plenty for all the sizes with the sleeve. So if you are going to make a, sh a, a size six in with no sleeves, you will have a lot of fabric oh, left over. Loads left. You'll, be, you'll be making a, an extra skirt as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but look at this. This is digital cotton lawn. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's got, that is just it's a very beautiful. slight silkiness. Yes, to well, it, it, it's got that. Lovely. A good, a good quality lawn wants to feel like uh, parachute silk, and that's what this feels it like, does. isn't it? And but it's not. It doesn't have any of the properties of silk, so it's easy to sew. Very. Make sure you've got a new needle in your machine. That's all I'll say. A new sharp needle in your machine. That's all you need to worry about. One hundred thirty-five centimeters wide. Uh, three meters. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, so that one is... Oh, they're, oh, they're roses. You see, I thought they were clovers. They're roses, apparently. I thought they were poppies. <laughs> and you thought they were poppies. There we go. But anyway, so that will make the dress that you're wearing. So that's that fabric. So if you want a dress that looks like Catherine's now, this is the fabric you need. At first, she, hang on a second. Right, OK. So cotton lawn. So hang on. What, what does that work out at? Six units. That's £5.50 a unit. That's... For cotton lawn. That's brilliant. That's really, really good. That's fantastic price for cotton lawn. And a good quality cotton lawn. And also, as a beginner, cotton lawn, it, it hardly... F it, say that again, Han. Oh, OK. Um, uh, hardly frays. Hardly frays at all because it's a high thread count. So it hardly frays at all. So that's that one. That's your roses, not your clovers or your poppies, as we all thought. <laughs> Right, so then, which one would I do next, Han? Hang on a second then, that must be this one. Oh, not, oh, okay. No, no, you see, no, the thing is, right, the reason I'm doing that is because viscose, they make viscose to feel like, so this feels identical. This will be viscose, but it's a cotton lawn viscose. No, they're heavier. They're different. They're completely different. That's not a cotton lawn. That's linen. They've got that's a linen. linen viscous. Okay, so that's the only cotton lawn then. That one we've just done, right? These three are viscose, are they then? But made to feel like lawn. So I've got a blue. There you go. That's a lovely colour. No, that's right. Need see, they've called it viscose twill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now this feels identical to that. Just the smidgenest, smidgenest, a little tiny bit heavier, but gorgeous. Be lovely to work with as well. Uh, that can't be right. No. So hang on, you've got six units. Six, well, it's not even three, six threes are 18. It's not even three pounds a metre, three pounds half a metre. What's 16, what 16.99 divided by six then? Two pounds something. Well, it's not 2.99 because that would be 18 pounds. So, anyway, <laughs> thanks, thanks for your support. <laughs> I don't know then. <laughs> 2.83, 2.83. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm not surprised. Now I've got this one that I wanted to show you a minute ago. So is this the twill as well? Look at this, sixteen ninety nine. That's ridiculous. Can I just say that's ridiculous? It's going to sell out, isn't it? It's going to sell out. Look, that's beautiful. This is my favourite so far. 
144 centimetres wide. Three, three metres you get there. Okay, way too many people got, so that one can go, cat. that one can go. Then I've got the black one. Now, I'm thinking because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking all summer dress. Look at that. If you made that for a wedding and then you highlighted, if you had lavender or the blue or the soft green as the accents on there, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? I'm going to make this dress for my mum for a wedding she's going to. Oh, well, there you go. And no offence, how old's your mum? Roughly. Allowed, I would not no, no. say. But, but okay, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, <laughs> no, no, what I'm trying to I'm say... I'm 51. Okay, well, you're looking good on 51. But what I'm trying to say is, a 51-year-old suits you. You're making it for your mum, who must be so many years older than She's you. She's more mature than that. Yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't mean to say, tell me how old your mum is. But what I'm trying to say is, you've designed it so it's going to suit. Yes. And you could put one of your daughters. I have, Helen, had, um, my youngest, she um, was the size model for the very smallest size because she's little and she looks fab and we made it short on her because she likes it short. Yeah, and, and did she have yeah. it sleeveless? Yeah. Yeah, you she see, loves it. You see, it looks see it's such a her. versatile pattern that everyone's going to be able to wear this. Everybody can be able to wear this one. So again, this is 16 99 This goes to Single figures, that one. So I, oh, okay. Right, now, where would you like to go next then? Now, these are heavier. These are heavier weights, this one. Still not heavy, heavy, but a much heavier. This, no. Here you go. So 32 99 again, that's a fantastic price. No. Look, 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 look at this. So this one here, have you, you haven't seen this, have you? No. This is like a know. very, very, look, it's, it, I'll drape it. I'll drape it. Hang on, look, let me show you. Three metres, right? It drapes beautifully. This is going to be even nicer when you wash it. But have a feel of it. It's got a linen... Oh, that, I did recommend all the fabric. Oh, well, there, but, <laughs> oh, there you go. Then. That's, but it's looking, that's why they're all working, isn't it? I didn't, I didn't it? know what they'd yeah. got, but I but really But it's like that really, one. really lovely. It's a slightly heavier weight. There you go, 70% linen, 30% cotton. So it's beautiful. That's nice because it won't then crease up. Yeah. But also, once it's washed a few times, this will yeah. be even more draping. But imagine that as a... So what fabric are you making your mums out of? Um, it's like a viscous crepe, but quite, oh, yes, quite yes, a yeah. heavyweight. So, yeah, so again, versatile dress, because you can make it... You see, you could make that out of a very, very light needle cord for winter. You could. Do you know what I mean? I'd make it without the sleeves. I wouldn't do needle cord sleeves. I'd do it without the sleeves and then wear it as a, as a layering thing. It'd be beautiful as a winter thing. Yeah, five pound forty nine and a half meter. This, it's ridiculous. And look, it's beautiful. I think that's my favourite one so far. So far, so far. I'll fold that up. I'll give that to Cat to fold up because I. Can. Sorry, Cat. Thank you. It hasn't gone yet. Don't put it away. I just need it. Right. Then I've also got this one. I won't open this one out. Look. Uh, Thirty two ninety nine. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at the price. Uh, right, Sheila, good question, Sheila. Sheila says, how do you keep the bigger size of the pattern if you only want the smaller size? I would get some pattern paper and a tracing wheel and trace off your pattern. Never cut the original pattern. Trace off the size that you want onto pattern paper. Yes. That's what I'd do. Uh, beautiful dress, Catherine. Gorgeous fabric, says Susie Duncan. This what, sorry, Han? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some limited pattern paper on the website from Prim at the moment. It comes on a 10 meter roll. 70 percent linen, 30 percent cotton, this one. Five pound 49 for half a meter, it works out, huh? Beautiful, and then wait till you see this one. This one rivals the blue one that I started with. Yeah, look. You see, I'm, I'm thinking weddings. Isn't that gorgeous? Proper summer dress, that one, Ollie says. That is gorgeous. Yeah, 32 99 They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Make sure you check out, check out, check out on that one. Then we've got the printed uh, chambres. We'll have called them printed denims, I'm imagining. Right, so which one first, huh? The, the colourful daisies, this one, right? So again, this is three metres. 
Now, we called it denim. Please don't be thinking it's like your jeans. It's the lightest way. It's really chambray, right? But they have to call it denim because it's got white thread going one way and blue thread going the other way. Look. No, 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 no. You don't make jeans out of it. So it's not, you know, the denim on your jeans, Ollie, is quite solid. This is drapey and gorgeous, look. So it's the same as a cotton, but they call it denim because denim means you've got white, fat, white threads going one way and blue threads going the other. And then they've printed the daisies on the top. And that just make a lovely everyday dress. Yes. And what's more, you can have so much. This gets 150 wide, 60 inches wide, this one, for £25.99. 100% cotton. Right, now be careful, that one's flying out. Absolutely flying out, that one. So that's your daisy one. Then this one here has got a bigger pattern on it. Then I've got the like leaf sprig. Oh, this one comes out to 22.99. 22.99 though. I'm wondering if it's because this one's one we've had before and the daisy one, I've not seen the daisy one before. Who knows? 22.99. Yeah, you mumble away to yourself, Hannah, there. Then we've also got the, like, the leaf and vine version. I've got the linings to do as well. 22.99. Beautiful. Right, now, why do I need lining, Catherine, right? Because we have lined just the front and back bodice so that you get a really nice neat edge. And it also means you've got no seams here. Is it, is it completely lined or is it just the front that's lined? No, the back as well. Oh, so, so yeah, so all so your, all your seams, seams are all enclosed. All enclosed and everything. Seams, yes. So it's like a proper couture dress then. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got this lining for you here, which they've called Habitat. It's polyester Habitat. Uh, we think we're going to sell out, but if you've got a Liberty Cotton lawn or a fine lawn, use that. Or you can use that as well. You don't need to get that, but this is really, really affordable. It comes in a metre and a half bundle. Start with ivory, which is actually white. It's not ivory at all. Uh, 3 99 for a metre and a half. 3 99 You're just lining your bodice. You're not lining anything else at all. So don't get frightened that you're thinking, oh, I've got to do a lining. It's not difficult at all. It's even easier than a facing, actually. It is, it? yes. Yeah. So that's three ninety nine for a metre and a half of that. Colour wise, next. Pink one, soft pink. It's hundred percent polyester. This isn't it. One hundred forty five wide. That's your soft pink. Then we've got the. Navy, is this one you've, oh yes. Yeah. Don't send this one back, Kurt. So now they're called that Habitai. Habitai is a type of silk. It's not silk, it's polyester. Three ninety nine. Uh, then I've also got black and silver. Black next. Okay, I'm going to go back to the pattern in a second, though, because we've got the silver. Nice, isn't it? There you go, three ninety nine. Now, before we get on with some sewing, which I know it's important to do, uh, I need to warn you about this now. The pattern, we're just going to check how many there are and how many are in baskets. There are 80 left and 95 in baskets. So it's going to sell out. I'm going to tell you now, it's going to sell out. If you're waiting to see the demonstration, we're going to do that now. But please be aware there's way too many people. Well, 80, 93, did you say? So at the moment, 13 people are going to miss out. Oh, 95. Uh, okay, there you go. 15 people are going to miss out. Right, I'll shut up now and let's do some sewing. What are you going to show us then? Uh, I'm going to start with the bodice. Lovely. As you would when you've got it all cut out. Because really, I mean, it's, no, it's not tricky, but it's got the most in it. Yeah. And I would say if you're somebody that's worried about your sizing, to make up the bodice in a toile is the best thing to do. And you can check the fit. Yeah. I'd recommend that with everything, until you've made it once. 
Yes. Uh, so the, once you've made this once, you'll know then what, yes. what, which bit you have to alter, if you have to alter anything. Absolutely. But I'd always, always suggest making a twirl. Even if you don't make the whole dress, just make the bodice bit to make sure the armhole's the right size. Yeah, and just that like it's that. fitting round your bust right. So good morning, I'm... great show. Could you line this with the outer fabric, says Linda in Braintree? Oh, good question, Linda. Um, right, OK, I'd say the lawn... Yes. Or the viscose, definitely. Yes. Not the linen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't agree. line it. Would you agree? I totally. Yeah, don't line it with the linen because that would make it too thick. And also, you don't want that linen on both sides against you, sort of thing. But the, the lawn and the viscose, definitely. Yes. Oh, uh, sorry, another question. The question. That's all right. Catherine, lovely fabrics and pattern. Do you need to wash the dress making fabric before cutting out? What's the best way to do that from Mrs. in Hertfordshire? Now, I'm very naughty. I never wash mine. But I know you would advise that you would. Uh, right, OK. The viscose, no. Because viscose very seldom shrinks, yeah. right? But the cotton and the linen, I definitely wash it first. Uh, just on a normal 30 degree wash, normal wash. Uh, if you've got an overlocker or a zigzag, overlock the two ends so it doesn't fray away in, in your washing machine or anything like that. Um, uh, but yes, because if you're going to be washing the dress later, you know, get, uh, each time you've worn it, and this is the kind of dress that you're going to throw in the washing machine, isn't it? Then I would definitely wash. I wouldn't wash the, the polyester, but I definitely uh, the, the viscose. But I definitely wash the cotton and the linen. Right. I'm, now you. Can I'm do a bit something. naughty. No, no, no. I have to say, <laughs> it's just. I it's, make... Yeah, I, I do think you're right, and I think some, sometimes you get you get some fabrics, and they have a very slight dressing on, don't yeah. they? And I always say actually to people to yeah. wash those. But it is nice when you make a dress out of non-washed fabric. It, if you're doing it for an exhibition yeah. or a photograph, then I wouldn't wash it at all. But it's it's only because everyday wear. That's true. You don't want to make it, wear it the first time, then put it in the washing machine. It won't fit. That is very time. true. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, a dart in the front that we're going to do. So you need to mark up your dart. It's on the pattern. It shows you which one to mark. Uh, and then to make your dart, you're going to just pinch up that triangle. You want to match the two bottom bits. I've done a very, very tiny snip in so I can see where to match. You're going to... I always put a pin at the point where I'm coming off the top of the fabric. And you can put one in the middle as well if you like. Now, if you've not done darts before and you're worried about where to sew, yeah. draw a line in with your tailor's yeah, yeah, your friction pin. That's fine. Um, I, always, I always mark the dart in. I always draw... The, I, do do, you always I, draw I, I do it with a, a tracing wheel and tracing paper, but I always draw it in. I think, I think people sometimes... <laughs> although it's a straight line, it doesn't feel like a straight line. No. <laughs> so, it, yes, it can uh, worry people. I've put my pins in the wrong side now. Oh, no. I Did know. You? I know. We'll just do that. Okay, so you're going from the bottom of your dart. You can reverse at the bottom, but don't reverse at the top. You're coming right off the end, and you're leaving two ends so that you can tie a little knot because you don't want a 1950s point. Just tie them in a little knot there. And you want to press your darts towards the centre. Mm -hmm. Oh, when, a, when a, a tailor's hand would be good for this bit as well, wouldn't it? Yes. And, and, and do press as you're going along. Yeah, always. It makes all the difference. And also, unlike patchwork, I I'd ste I'd do steam. I'm dressmaking. Yes. Yeah. I always say to people when they're in my dressmaking class, if you're not sure what to do and I have a, and you're waiting for me, just go and press what you've done because that's what I'm going to tell you to do. <laughs> Two nice dots. Now at this stage, when I'm at home and I'm making things, even though it's not put together, I will sort of hold it up to myself and see if it looks like the dart's going to be at the right place. Oh yeah, place. definitely. Yeah, so you can you can start to get an idea. Are you going to sew for pleasure next week? I am going. You to got sew a stand? Or are you doing class? I've got. Yeah, I'm both. Oh crazy. Both. Busy lady. And are you in the... Because it's in, it's in three sections, isn't it? I'm in the sewing for pleasure bit. OK, because the sewing for pleasure, that we're in... I'm in the crafting 
craft doing crafting. Creative craft. Creative crafting. But there's also... A, but they're all joined together. Oh, no, no, you can walk to all three of them. You can't really tell which bit's which. No, but we're, there's definitely three sections, but we're in... So we're, our stand is in the, what's it called, creative craft. Yes. There's the same pleasure, and there's also embroidery and... Fashion, I think. Fashion or something like that. Yes. They're all, you can get into all of them. It's all yes. one big thing, but they've put them into three zones. Yes. So, yeah, we've got a, a, an enormous stand, actually. Oh. And, um, yeah, lots of lovely classes, which are selling out quite fast, actually. Fantastic. But if you want to come and do with some sewing with me, I'll be there doing some sewing. So, on your back bodice piece, you're going to join centre-back seam. Lovely. Our seam allowance on this pattern is a centimetre. Okay, and on the bodice, you don't need to finish any new seams because they're all, or the seam allowances, because they're all inside a lining. Absolutely. Which is quite nice, isn't it? Um, so one thing to say about the pattern, there are many notches marked, but they're not triangles. They are little lines, but I still cut a triangle outwards. Right. I think it's just that the software these days that they use to draw patterns is a line. Yes. Susie's so going to be there at the Zone for Pleasure as well. Susie Duncan. Very She's nice. On Are you on the Janome stand? Ooh. So I'm going to press that seam open so it lies nice and flat. There's a bit of water coming out of that. It's what? A bit of water coming out the front oh, iron. Dear. Oh, I can see where. And then we're going to put it right sides together at the shoulders. Yeah. Good morning, both. I'm late watching this morning. Love the dress, but my décolleté isn't what it used to be. Is there an alternative neckline, says Jane? Oh. Uh, there isn't, but... I would say if, you, if you're really worried, wear a little vest top underneath. Yeah, uh, the only thing would be is if you change the neckline, you would then have to put in a zip or some form of opening down your centre back because the whole point is that there's no fastenings. Um, but yeah, wear a lovely little um, camisole underneath it. It'd be lovely. Yes. And it's not, Actually, I don't feel make... like it's really, really low. No, 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 no. But if, um, if you're worried, if you're, if, you're <coughs> if you're worried, you can also, you could, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> you could also bag out a little triangle with the lining, Absolutely. sew it onto one side and then pop it onto the other side. So you've got a little triangular bit of the actual fabric going across the front as well. So it looked like an old, like a 1920s Liberty bodice. That'd be nice. So you've got your bodice like this and joined at the shoulder seams and you're going to do exactly the same with your lining. Put in your darts, join that back seam and join the shoulder seam. Then we can put our linings together. And I've already prepped the lining. Lovely. So I can show you how to do that. Yeah, are, are you going to come out then? Okay, right. Just going to stop one second. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to recap the fabric that you're wearing. Okay. The, well, has it? Has it? The one that was... Okay. Right, okay. So here we go. So this is the fabric of the one that Catherine's wearing. Thirty-two ninety-nine. Quick, Cat. Is that the note for, for Catherine? Yeah, give it to him to Catherine now. $32.99. Digital cotton lawn, rose floral fabric bundle, $32.99. You might, your microphone's on, so don't talk. <laughs> Beautiful, that's the one that Catherine's wearing. Very, very popular. And this is the only cotton lawn one that we've got. Beautiful. Right, you hope. Are we ready? Carrying on. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our bodice laid out. Hopefully, you can just about see that. And, um, oh, that's a sleeve. This is going on top like so. Right. So, hang on, so just recap to you. So, sh you've only sewn the shoulder seams. I have on only sewn the shoulder seams, right, not the side yeah, seams. Yeah, lovely. 
if you're fitting at this point and you're like, oh, I don't want to put all my lining in, I want to see if it fits, tack your side seams together and try it on and see how it's looking. That's the, the thing to do. So we're going to match up our back seam. We're going to match all the way around the neck edge. If you're making the sleeveless version, you will also go all the way around your armhole edge. If you're making the one with sleeves in, you're going to leave that open. Lovely. Julie Vaughan says more than Catherine. Julie Vaughan, have you bought this pattern? Just asking her. Oh, question. Uh, would you stay stitch such a long neckline to stop it stretching, says a collector? Uh, I possibly would. Have I said I am in the instructions? Oh. I may have forgotten you to tell you that bit in my excitement. I bet I'd better do it. it I would say it depends how quickly you're going to put your lining in. Because if you can put your lining in straight away, then I wouldn't bother. But let's have a look. So where would it be then? It'd be, if, I, if I've said you are, it'll be right at the start. Well, in here, glossary, easy. No, on the first instruction. Okay. Uh, what fabric should we have to need? Face me the best. Uh -huh. No, turn, turn over, turn over. That's the first bit I tell you I'm to that do. Seam left. Mark any darts, notches. Stay stitch the back neck and the front neck edges, CB. There you go. So, yes. I did. I just hadn't. <laughs> I was in a bit of a dither this morning. Yeah. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well, John. Did you not? No. <laughs> okay, I need to warn you, today there are only 12 patterns left. And 105 in baskets. 105 in baskets, but only 12 left. So if you want the pattern, you need to check out now. And that's it for today. That's it for today. There will be no more. It's not one of those where I can say, can get more, can get more, can get more. That's it now for the day. Okay, so we're going right round to the end there. Then we're going to stitch all the way around this neck edge. Uh, the style of the dress would suit everyone, says Julie Vaughan. Yes, we've not been listening. I've said that. <laughs> Is that Julie who came? She, I had a lovely lady called Julie come on my bodice block um, course the other week. Yeah. It might, I don't know. If it's not that Julie, hello. The other Julie. Julie. <laughs> this Julie does go on a lot of courses. She's just been on... Uh, now, where did she go just recently? She tell me. My brain is not what it was. Thanks, Kat, that's done. So as you come round and you get to that V back, it's important that you stop on the seam. You want that the the V point at the back to be nice and central. Yes. Oh yeah, Julie Vaughan's bought the pattern. Just as well, because how many left now? Two left now. Two left, that's all we can get today. That's all we can get today. So well done, Catherine. You can go home and sleep well I could tonight. go home and have a little snooze, can't I? <laughs> I'm playing cricket tonight. Your pardon? I'm playing cricket tonight. So at that, at that bottom point, you're pivoting. Yeah. On, your, on your seam so that you get a nice, nice V shape. Oh, Julie Vaughan went to Sarah Brangwins, uh, down to Sarah Brangwins in Brighton because it's nearby. Oh, it was a different Julie then. Yeah. Well, hello uh, the other Julie. Sarah Brangwins, <laughs> um, Sarah Brangwins uh, Meet the Designer is downloading on John Scott's Threads of Life this afternoon at two o'clock. Message on the bottom. Good morning. Could you use Jersey with this pattern, please? Lynn from Wigan. I haven't tried it in a jersey. 
I do have plans to, to see if it works. I was going to say, I, I, it depends how stretchy your jersey yeah, is. Yeah, I wouldn't, don't think a really floppy one. No, because no, it won't have a negative ease on it. It'll have proper ease on it, won't it? So it might, you might end up having to make the size smaller for it to work in jersey. It'd look nice in jersey, but you might not be, might not be the same pattern because you might... I might have to have it slightly like, like shaped differently. Hi, John and Catherine. I can't wear polyester fabric. What can I use to line the dress with instead, please? Right, Andrew, I can tell you, cotton lawn. Use a lovely cotton lawn. In fact, you, we, we didn't send the lining to Catherine, so you've lined... That, that one there's got a cotton lining. This one here has got cotton lawn, uh, cotton lawn in it. Um, so a cotton lawn is a really... Rip, but make sure it's lawn. Don't get quilting weight. Do a nice cotton lawn uh, to line, line it with. Um, you can line it silk if you wanted to. But um, it's a bit excessive, isn't it? But cotton lawn would be nice. Um, so before you turn your lining round, you're just going to snip down that V just so it turns nicely. And if you, you can snip into your curves if you think that... There's not a huge amount of curves, but you can a little bit yeah. just to make it turn round nicely. Obviously, uh, if you're doing sleeveless, you'll have sewn that bit up as well yeah. and you'd pull it through the shoulders. Yeah. Uh, Laurie says, morning, John and Catherine, got the pattern. Oh, now you see, Laurie got the black fabric. Laurie got the black fabric. Like the black uh, love it. Catherine, you always do a great demo, she says. Thank you. Um, now, you need to understitch. OK. Understitching is the biggest question, the most often asked question in my dressmaking classes. Okay. We now have a joke in my Thursday class that you're not actually allowed to ask what understitching is. Oh, no, that's a bit unfair. <laughs> no, but they've been coming for so many years, John, they should know. Oh, oh OK, so not a new person can't come in and go... <laughs> oh, a new person can, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what so, is it, then? So, understitching is going to help your lining lie nice and flat. And you're going to press your... Bodice and lining apart, have your seam towards your lining, and then you're going to stitch along that edge of your lining. All the way around or as far as you can go to allow it to turn nicely and sit really nicely. So you won't see, or you shouldn't see, the stitching on the outside. No. But it's worth doing. It's one of those steps that people think, oh, I'll just skip that because I don't like it very much. Yeah. But actually, no, it don't does skip it. make a big difference to how it all lies, doesn't it? It's really hard to do this not on a normal lining board. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much easier on your ironing board. And also be very easy with the new Aliso iron launching on Tuesday. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it looks, it looks fancy. They gave me one to take home, right? And as I left the building, they went, you're only borrowing it. You're not keeping <laughs> it. Oh. Okay. Oh, Lynn says, thank you. I love this dress. That was, was, that, was that the Lynn that wanted the lining or was that a different Lynn? Oh, Jersey was Lynn. Jersey was Lynn. Oh, styling question now from Vivienne. Oh, she's she doing this. Hi, would a short or long line jacket look best with the dress shape? Love the dress from Vivienne. I would wear short. Yes. Personally. Well, I never wear jackets. No. I always have a little cardi, I do. Yeah. yeah <laughs> or uh, like um, if you were Catherine, uh, Caroline, Caroline Lindsay, you'd wear a little bolero. That would look nice with yes. it. Yes. Um, but you could also, uh, uh, it's the kind of dress that would look lovely with a pashmina. If I was styling you for a wedding, I'd put you in a pashmina with it. So I feel if you've got a longer sleeve for a wedding, you probably don't need a jacket. No, exactly, exactly. And also, even though you're calling it a long sleeve, it's actually... It's three quarter length. Yeah, which, and, and now we were always taught when we, when we first started doing fashion, that that is the most flattering part of it. Any, whatever dress size you are, Always leave the bracelet, is it called bracelet length or something like that? So that this bit, this little bit of the forearm is always really, really uh, elegant. If I wanted to make the sleeves longer, could I? Yes, you can. Just be very careful. So if you're going to lengthen the sleeve, don't go down from the bottom. You'll make it too narrow to get your hand through. Yes. Make sure you like 
cut it in half and length. Oh, yes, because yeah. so, don't carry on the lines. Yeah, now, Elsie, then you would be like, would be it like, would be so okay. tight around here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, I right. always wear, th I really like this length. No, no, it's really, really elegant. Yeah, yes, but, sort of but you like... can do it. You could chop it off here if you yeah. like them that length. The thing is, if you've got a pattern for um, butter, um, I don't want to call butterfly, what's, what's the ones that go like that? Like a sort of a ruffly type. Yeah, I know but, what but you mean. what you could do is, as long as you make sure the head of the pattern is the same as the head of the pattern on Catherine's, you could split the pattern. Oh, actually, if you've got um, Hen and Rhiannon's book, right? You take the sleeve pattern and you split, you shorten it, and you split it, and you get one of those that angel wings sort of thing uh, sleeves. Right, Hannah just wants me to go through the fabrics that are left over. So while you're stitching that, okay. Uh, cotton linens, right? Which one first? The blue and white one first. Single figures, been very popular, <coughs> but they haven't sold out like the others. 32.99. 70% linen, 30% cotton. Beautiful, that one, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Then I've got the orangey flowered one. This is the one Ollie likes best, but don't let that put you off. Over half the stock of that one is gone. And... The gorgeous bit. I, I'm surprised this one's still here because I think this is glorious, this one. 36. So has the rose lawn gone as well? Yeah, right. I've got a few linings left. Do you want to go through those? Pink lining. There you go. White or ivory. Oh, sold out. Uh, ooh, silver grey. Lovely. Have we got anything else? Oh, got black. Black, yeah. Okay, now, uh, what I was also going to say was, I don't think you've brought it with you, you've made it in like a sheeny, shiny oh, fabric. Oh, it's just out the back if Kat wants to go and run and fetch it. Uh, just so you to show that you can it's make it. It's not on, in fabric it's that we've... It's on the box out in the green room. It's not in like a fabric a we've shiny box. got, but it's like a, a, if you want to make it into an evening, evening dress, you can do as well. Now, if I wanted to make the, <coughs> the dress to the floor, do I just split it where you've put your line on your pattern and just add the extra inches? Um, I know I'm asking loads of questions. But... That's all right. So our short and length and line is up here at the hip. Right. So then, yes, you could then take, Just take it, it down. Just take it down. You'd have to add quite a bit to You wouldn't be able to do it with our bundles of fabric. But if you're... Oh, do you know what would look lovely? If you did the bodice of this in, like, a, um, a glittery... And then did black velvet for the skirt. Yes. I'm thinking about evening gowns now yes. and things like that. But because of that empire line, it makes you look taller and more elegant and, and very kind of... Um, Elongated in the body. If you're worried about thinking, if you, cause, because the but the bust, the, the seam, the waist seams up here under the bust. If you make an extra long dress out of it. It looks fantastic. Oh, here you go. Here you go. So, what fabric's this then, Catherine? We don't have that. We haven't got this. I'm I not sure, to... to be honest. Did you have it in your shop? Um, my uh, so my lovely pattern grader brought it to have a go with. Because we thought it would work really nicely. Yeah, as a, yeah, as yeah. Sort of, yeah. You know, work party type dress. We obviously don't sell that, but I'm just thinking for, if you've got the pattern, how versatile the whole thing is. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. When you've understitched your lining, you're yeah. going to then put your side seams together. So you're going to do the outsides first, right sides together, and then your lining ones. Lovely. If I can. Do that and get it turned around, you'll see how the bodice comes together. What's nice about it is it's really comfy. Yeah. And you can twirl. <laughs> it's, it's like a twirly skirt. Oh. And I don't think it matters how old you are, you fancy twirling. Oh, no. <laughs> She's saying twirling, not twerking, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah's just practising her twerking in the gallery. So it looked good on the dance floor. Yes. Hey, it'd be good on cruises, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. John Scott's cruise next year. 
Are you going on a cruise? No, you're doing a cruise. I'm doing a John Scott cruise now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, that's Hasn't been fine. Like, we were supposed to be doing one at the end of this year, and that all got a bit kiboshed. So uh, we're doing to look for one next. Where's it week. going? No, I can't tell you. It's because we haven't decided. <laughs> <laughs> But we kind of wanted it to be one that you get on it in here. It's not a fly and join it because lots of, cause it, lots of people want. What here in the Midlands? No, here in the UK. <laughs> we're going down. Don't get on it we're here going in down the Canal. <laughs> no, you go on it like where's the, the bottom? Portsmouth or Portsmouth. Southampton, yes. or somewhere like that. Oh yeah. Because that way you don't have a, a restriction of what you can take. You can take whatever you want on that. Yeah, that's nice. So if you went to the Caribbean, you'd have to do a fly and collect. And if people want to bring their sewing with them and things like that. We did oh. sewing afternoons on the cruise and things, and just mean they could bring everything. Then, it? Okay, so then you're going to turn it all to the inside. So you can see your seams are all enclosed. Yep. You're going to tack that lining and outer together around the armhole uh -huh. so that you can put your sleeve in. I know I haven't pressed it, but that's when you press it into the inside, that's going to lie really nicely. And then you're going to cross it over at the front here. And your, your end, your point at the end here matches up with your dart. Yeah. They go like that. So you want to, and to you're going go to from Plymouth that. so she doesn't have to get a car journey to the boat. <laughs> And you'll tack that in place as well. Yeah. So when you've got it like that, you can check it's all going to fit really nicely. Obviously, you'd, you'd like press it really well. Yeah. yeah have yeah, that yeah. all turned in. If you wanted to top stitch, you can do. But if you've understitched it nicely and pressed it well, you shouldn't need I it. I think it depends on the fabric. You see, the denims have got nice top stitch. Yes. But I would never top stitch the linen or the viscose because no. I want that to look. Exactly. But the denims always looks nice with the top stitch. Yes. Right, we're going to have to talk through the, the next few bits. OK, so um, my sleeve... Does the sleeve go next then? The sleeves the go in. I tend to put the sleeves in before the skirt just because you've got less fabric kind of all around your machine. Yeah. So I've done two rows of gathering stitches on the sleeve head between the notches. I've put the underarm seam together and hemmed it. Mm -hmm. I, tend, I tend to hem it before I put it in just because it's done. Yeah. But if you are oh, no, no, funny I about agree. your yeah, lengths, no, 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 you, no. you can wait. Can't, you can do it later. So you have your bodice the wrong way round and your sleeve the right way round. Make sure you get the right sleeve in the right and armhole. This is why your notches are so important. So you've got to match your back notch with your back notch. Else your sleeves will feel very, very strange. Yeah. And they won't fit. Well, no, think, what with your arms done? facing back. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've, the times I've put sleeves in wrong. So now, so there's easy, I'm, I'm going to have to hurry you along, I'm afraid. There so is a very around. little bit of ease. So you match your notches, you match your bottom um, hem, match your top notch with your shoulder seam, and then there is a little bit of ease. So you're just going to pull those gathering stitches up until you But it's it not like fit. a fully gathered in sleeve head, it's just to no. get, you just I pull mean, it in enough to make it. you can see it hasn't got, yeah. a, it's not puffy. Yeah. So it, there is only, a, there's only a little bit, so you, you sort of gather it up and then you kind of wiggle it out and it just fits. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And then just what do we do around that waistline then? So then you, when you've got your bodies together like that, you're going to pop your pockets into your skirt. So you have two on the front, two on the back. I've done half a skirt, as you can see here. Lovely. So it's big, it's hard to show, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you're going to put your skirt together, down the side, round your pocket, down to the bottom. And then that skirt will fit straight into your bodice. So there's no gathering or anything like that. Flat. It just fits in flat. And then Absolutely. how did you finish that seam off then? I did just overlock it. Okay. Um, rather than getting into hand stitching lining. And I have just overlocked my yeah, 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 yeah. sleeve. Yeah. Seams as well. Perfect. Right. Uh, yes, Julie, she's at the NEC. Whereabouts are you at the NEC next week? Oh, I can't remember the stand number. But you're in the Sewing for in Pleasure. In the Sewing for Pleasure section. And yes. she's doing classes as well. Go to the website, the NEC website, and you'll see what classes are available. Right. Thank you very much, Nick. Congratulations on your Thank sellout. You. Uh, so we'll see you in an hour. I shouldn't care about the next hour. Sit. Brand new <laughs> book, which we're reducing the price of, and we're making a tote bag from it. But it's a book that has all sorts of tips. Yeah, it's, it, it's a really it? useful book.
There you go. So uh, you'll see Catherine in out. You'll see me in four minutes with my sewing shop. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.SewingStreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? 
Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. We've just been told some really exciting news. And I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you or not, but I'm going to. So that you tell your friends. Oh, oh be careful. Because you can tell your friends. Because it doesn't matter, because you're watching us anyway. Um, we're on Virgin from today. What number was it, Han? 754. 754 on Virgin. <laughs> tell your friends who haven't got all the others, but tell their friends. How brilliant is that? Uh, anyway, I'm not going to make a big thing about it because I wasn't supposed to tell you, I don't think. But anyway, shall we start with the sizzle quilt? Welcome to John Scott's Sewing World. Shop, 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 shop. Uh, sizzle quilt. So nine paper piece stars and a plique. Oh, striking borders. 19.99. No, we're not doing that. We're celebrating being a virgin. 16.99. 16.99. Beautiful, a celebratory price that we always go to. Two bold colourways of the sizzle quilt. Beautiful. Now, so, so basically, nine paper piece stars. So you've got nine different stars that you can create into a different uh, quilt. There you go. Beautiful, 16.99. Oh, Julie Vaughan's very excited. Yep, and I'm not supposed to have told you, so I'll just carry on with pretending. So here we go, sewing and applique. Sewing on foundation paper. Beautiful look, so you're making your blocks there. Constructing your centres. Oh dear, she chipped a nail on that one. Preparing the block corners. Everything you need to know to create those two gorgeous things. And then, oh, there she is. Betty, no, not Betty, Becky Goldsmith. She's half of the long-time design duo, Piece of Cake. Ooh. Anyway, you've got your templates at the back there. I want to see the board as well. Oh, look at, oh, there. Oh, look, every single foundation paper piecing pattern and template is in there. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? There's your borders. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? Beautiful. What a lovely book. And you don't need, because normally to do these, you need that funny ruler, don't you? The, um, <coughs> is it called a round robin? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <coughs> I got a bit of um, a thread in my throat in the last hour and it just won't shift. Uh, 16.99, The Sizzle Quilt by Becky Goldsmith. 
It's paper piecing and appliqueing. I've got my water, I've got my tea, thank you. It's just, um, you know, when you, it's, it's just gone, something might have scratched it actually. <coughs> so all the excitement about being a virgin. No, no, lad, say that. 16.99. Right, moving on. Uh, the quarter inch uh, stripology quarter mini. No, no, it's up to you. But you did say we were going to start the show with it when we prepped this morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It was a long time ago. Anyway, here we go. This is the non-slip stripology quarters. Now, what day did we launch this? Because Susie did a demo on this when we first launched it. No, was that long ago? 30th of December. 30th of December we did this. Because it's if you want to do three quarters or quarter increment. So you know at the bottom, you know where the uh, teardrops are there. I just turn it though. And we normally go one and a half, two and a half solid. This is six and a quarter, five and three quarters, five and a quarter, four and three quarters. Because it's every now and then when they ask you to do a, a, a strip of like so many quarters or whatever, you can use this. 53.99. However, we do have a price comparison for you. On the Long River, 61.92. Look, 61.92. That's the, that's the real price. There's no, no, no nothing on that one. Well, no, no, because normally it's got something else scribbled out and another price. When it's 92 or something, it's normally got like so many percent off, hasn't it? And I'll turn the right way up for you, thank you. Uh, and you can go straight to the um, Creative Grid you, uh, YouTube channel, website and everything, and you'll be able to see uh, videos on how to use it. Or you can watch our, watch our Susie using it at the end of December. At $53.99. Lynn says, great news. Lynn, shh. Thanks for the info. Great news. Shh. Yeah. I haven't told you. It can come from me, Lynn. It's brilliant news, isn't it? Man, well, it would be interesting to see how many new customers we get when we start advertising it, wouldn't it? Fifty three ninety nine. Keep going through for that one. And you can square off, look, square off to the different sides as well. 30th of December when Susie did the demo on that one. Lots in baskets, lots of people on the phone lines. I know they seem like a considered purchase for a little plastic ruler, but the amount of time that it's going to save you and the precision make your projects look even better finished. Are you? I'll just wait for Kat to find it because I don't think you told her. Oh, she did. She did. Kat didn't bother. Thank you. This is different. Why is this different? Bigger, much bigger, that's sure. Right, so this is what I was saying about when you're cutting your inches and your half inches along here, that's your increments of your solid. Then your stars are uh, one and a half uh, and your squares are two and a half. So you can cut your own jelly roll. But you can do squaring off of blocks. You can do triangles. You can do oblongs. You can do hexes. All sorts of shapes on this one, and it saves so much time. I used my extra large Japonji ruler for the first time this week. The ruler is brilliant for cutting strips for EPP. I am a convert from Amanda in Greater Manchester. So her words, not mine. Minus one second ago she sent that. Oh, now. Is that going to come there? Okay, Janet Manchester's watching on Virgin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell your friends, tell your friends, tell your friends. At uh, 69.99, this one. We have a price comparison of this one as well on the Long River. 136.61. 
Now, the other thing I've got to say to you is this is really important. Wherever you buy your creative grids, whether from us, please make sure that it's a registered or what's it buyer, a, a supplier, a, a, a verified supplier. I only say that because uh, Rachel the Ruler, at the end of last year, can I, oh, I need to explain this, Ollie. At the end of last year, uh, Rachel the Ruler kept getting these rulers returned to her saying, I've just used this and it's broken. I've just used this and it snapped. And she was like, let me have a look at them, send them in. And they weren't made by Creative Grids. They were a fake company putting the Creative Grids logo on, selling them at either at the same price or slightly cheaper. But there was, so please make sure you buy it from a registered vendor. That way you're covered. Yours won't break, yours shouldn't break because you know, we've all had ours for years and everything and they shouldn't break. But I don't want you buying one, paying all that money because then obviously Rachel LaRue is not going to refund you if you haven't bought it from one of her registered, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, because it's a fake one. You've bought a fake one. So please, please, please be careful when you do buy. We're obviously registered. We're fine. So you can buy from us. 69.99. At 69.99. Well done. Well done if you've got that. Loads of people have this. Loads of you got this. Right, I'm moving on. Staying on creative grids. Got a wonky log cabin. Oh yes, here it is. Now this was recent. We did this recently, didn't we? 18th of February this was. 18th of February. Well, it's recent. I say it was a month ago now, isn't it? Almost. 28.99. Uh, now, this makes you one key log cabin. Don't try and make a, a normal, regular one with this. This only makes a 10-inch one key. 28.99. It's gorgeous, though, isn't it? Look. Oh, actually, from that far away, it looks like a normal one. Let me see if I've got a bigger picture. No, that... Can you come in on that, just to show you how it's one key? Look, there you go. What's the matter? Okay, uh, uh, we've just typed it in, right? Thirty-seven pounds and ten pence. We always go to uh, we always go to Long River to find cheaper price. Always go to Long River to find cheaper prices. But uh, that's good, isn't it? It's the same thing. Ten-inch wonky log cabin. Same thing. Anyway, twenty-eight ninety-nine. You get this, this here is a, a little pamphlet of how to use it. Because what you do is when you do your different rounds, you pop that in the middle. Well, normally that would be a square, wouldn't it? Well, it's still a square, but it wouldn't be on the wonk like that. And that creates that beautiful wonky uh, log cabin. Well done. Twenty-four and a half by six and a half inch ruler next. Okay, there you go. I'll need uh, an, un un uh, an unpacked one, please, Kat. Uh, so here we go. Uh, 28 99 This is the rule that all of our designers say that you should buy, first of all, if you've never bought a Creative Grid one. Why is that? Because, first of all, if you fold a piece of fabric in half, you can do right away cross width of fabric. On the back of here, you've got all of these non-slip grip circles and straight lines on there. So when you've got it, on, when you've got it on the fabric like that, it moves around. Then once you've got your, your thing on here, creative grids are a game changer. No slippage, easy videos and so many ideas. Save times and save my fingers from slipping rotary cutters, Haley. Uh, and also it's got your quarter inch seam allowance on that side, your half inch on that wide. Uh, the black numbers are half inch numbers and the so white ones are solid numbers. £28.99. A uh, really, really, really good investment, that. Gorgeous. Right. The reason I asked for it unwrapped, because that's got the cellophane on it, because that goes back to the warehouse. You don't, you don't need this tool just to use with any rulers. Any rulers, this is brilliant, right? Because if you don't want to have it put, putting pressure down on your hand or you are a bit slippy and you might cut yourself, these are brilliant. Now, what you do... Oh, hang on. It's not a telephone, Ollie. Ollie, put the phone down. Right, it, or you want to scale a building like that. Right, what you do is you unleash the... Unleash, you unclick that... Unclick the bits there. You pop it on your ruler. 
you then push that down, which creates a vacuum. Well, oh, there you go. That's a strong one, that one. There you go, creates a Look, then you can pick up your ruler like this, you see. But it means that you can be cutting away. Your hands are nowhere near your uh, rotary cutter. And now, when Jane Alcock owned a shop, she used to have the shop in Ecclesthorpe, right? Her cutting ruler, when people came to the till and went, oh, I'll have half a metre of this or have a metre of this, this is how hers was automatically. She had one of these on the ruler. And so it meant that she did a really, really precise cut. Uh, she wasn't having to press down on anything. She literally held onto the handles like that. Um, and then what you do to release it, you just literally lift this, lift this, right? And then there is, if you need to, there's a little tab just there, look. Just pull on the little tab and that releases the vacuum. I can never get the second one to undo, can I? It, they go, it releases the vacuum on the second one. <laughs> and now the first one's stuck back down again. There you go, there you go, there. It's released on that side. <laughs> Don't laugh. You're supposed to be supportive, you are. <laughs> they normally release really easily on the little, pull the little tab. Yeah, like Jane Alcott, you can leave it on there all the time if you wanted to. Why won't it... That, that must have... Cat. Message on my bottom. Uh, watching you on Virgin 754, John says, Laureen in County Antrim. Cat's going to see what I've done wrong. Oh, no, it's not me. No. It's a super strong one, that one. Morning, John. I've got the most strong apology and the rectangular rulers. They give me confidence to cut fabric and have better results from Lynn in Essex. There you go. That one was just a little bit tight, but you're not a bit, it means it doesn't move. At 9.99, I'll have it back. So I'll what it is. Thank you. Oh, the graphics are broken now. So listen, so you literally, you, who's got one of these? Oh, thank you, Sue. I've just laughed so much you trying to sort that out. Cheek. Cheek, indeed. Beautiful. At 9.99. It's very clever, but really simple. It's like when they deliver new windows on Grand Designs, isn't it? Grand, yeah, Grand Designs. And all the butch men come in like this to the great big sheet. This way, this way, this way. In, in, in. Down, down, down. Like that. At nine pounds and nine, ten pounds. Single figures on that. This always sells out. It comes in a box. It does come in a box, look. Ruler grip, it's called. Uh, now, a lot of people do, men do say, oh, we'll put it in the bathroom. We can't get, we can't. What's the word? Not condone. What's the opposite to condone? No, but don't put them in your shower. Don't put, we, some people have, but we, we can't recommend, recommend that. We can't recommend that. Oh, here you go. I've got one of those. Uh, oh, hang on. Morning, John team. I have one of those after a slip with a rotary cutter, says Teresa. There you go, you see. So, he, so Ollie's saying, if you break it into a bank, right, cut, cut, you put this on the glass, cut a big circle, diamond cutter, cut, and then you pull the glass out of that and climb in. I think someone might notice, Ollie. You get a salt and pepper diamond. Get a salt and pepper diamond. There you go, sussed. Right. Are you? Right. These are something that Baldy Paul... Oh, well, I need the ruler back. Sorry, I need the ruler. I need... Yeah, we're not going to call him Baldy Paul anymore. Right, so we have the small, medium and large. Thanks, Kat. Right, what it is, is again, it's, like, it's a bit like that thing that I've just shown you, right? What, it's got suction caps on here. You literally moisten those. Pop it on your ruler like this. Right? So it holds the root. It's, it's the same sort of si system as you've got there. Then when you're cutting, you can either hold on here or you can keep your hand this side of the guard. So if you do slip, it's like a safety guard, isn't it? Oh, which size have you got then? Oh, okay. It's got sent up. We've sent up, wasn't it? 
Anyway, 29.99. I think Holly's been watching too many films. Yes, I do too soon. Anyway, look, and they've got the little tabs on them to pull them off, which I'm not even going to attempt to do now, which I'm going to have to because I've got to put the other size on in a minute. 29.99. Smaller size now. Well, that one came off easily. I can't find, I can't even find the tab on this side. Fancy putting the tab on. There you go. Thank you, Kat. Then I've got the 12 inch version. There you go. I was just licking it slightly to create the vacuum. This would be good if you've got the 12 inch square ruler, wouldn't it, this one? 19.99. Beautiful. We've got a different Creative Grids ruler now. Oh yeah, that this one, yeah, I like this one. 12 and a half by six and a half, this one. Let me just give that one to Kat. Be good with that little handle I've just given Kat back. So this is like your 24 and a half by six and a half, but just half the size. And uh, 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 Jenny Jackson was using it the other day, wasn't she? Morning, John. I've both showed you and the rectangular thing. I've done that one. I've read Lynn's. I've read Lynn's. Uh, so the QR code will take you straight to, to a video of how to use it on the Creative Grids website. 23.99. Again, you've got the non-slip grips on the back. Uh, you've got your increments in both white and in black, so it doesn't matter what colour fabric you're on, you can see your increments on there. Quarter inch this side, half inch this side, solid numbers in the white and half inch numbers on the black. 23.99, a really, really, Jenny uses this all the time. We need to get now that one, don't we? There's another one like that. We need to get that one now, we haven't got that yet. 23.99. Loads of you coming in for that one. Congratulations. 23.99. You're on the wrong channel, Han. Okay. There we go. This one here is your non-slip tumbler. We're doing that one again. Uh, so this here makes little tumblers, so you can do half tumblers or full tumblers. The idea is you cut your strip of fabric out with this bit of the ruler here, then you lay that bit onto the strip of fabric and you cut out your tumblers. The reason you've got your big circles here is you can take your rotary cutter straight down right to the end without damaging your ruler at all. Right, now loads of people have checked out of this already. You've got a little treat coming your way because it's not $23.99. Everyone pays the final price. Oh, that's a big drop. $14.99. Now, we never normally reduce some um, uh, Creative Grids rulers. The thing is, what happens is if Creative Grids give, a, give us a deal, we like to pass it on to you. So I think that's what must have happened there. Nine pounds saving on this one. At $14.99. I haven't got big stock of these now. And when they sell out, it's not one of those we can reorder. 18 inch edge along here, if you just want to do, you don't have to use it with the tumblers, you can just use your 18 inch there to slice, because you've got your measurements on here again, remember. An official one, yeah, it's a RARA registered, not registered. Verified vendor of Creative Grids. We know Rachel the ruler, the owner. She normally watches, isn't it? She's watching today. All her lovely jewellery. I haven't seen her for ages, actually. I'm just she'll be at the same for pleasure next week. Beautiful, fourteen ninety nine. Okay, this this one's twenty five ninety, uh, twenty five eighty six. Sorry, twenty five eighty six from the same studio. Who I always think their graphic, their um, logo is very, very similar to ours.
$14.99. 24 pounds, which is how much we would have been selling it for originally. Which, uh, there you go. Isn't it funny they don't do 23 99 they do 24 Anyway. Beautiful. I don't know how we've got that so uh, reasonably priced. Anyway, it's worth it. Take advantage. They are the lovely patterns you can make, the tumblers or the half tumblers. Hi, John. Pauline. Hi. We told your friends, Pauline, we're on Virgin now. I'll have a word with Richard later. Who's Steve? Oh, no, I'll just have a word with Richard. Well, I've done a costume for him in the past. No. Anyway. What? 20 inches square? Okay, I've not got that cat. Okay. Is we need a tw That's eight, that's eight. Oh, there, six, there, yeah. Didn't even see the six on there. Right, okay. Six and a half by six and a half. I need the big one cat as well. Six and a half by six and a half ruler here, 14 99 This very, very handy, this one. Oh, pfft. you're right. Was that you? Oh, she's getting stroppy, she's throwing things around because Hannah's given her all this extra work to do. It's working with me? No. Oh, yeah, no, no, Dan smashed my cup. That was after he'd made a den the other day with all the boxes in the room next door. He built all the boxes up and sat underneath them all. And cried, and then it all fell over. At fourteen ninety nine, he wasn't really. He just knocked everything off every shelf. Going, at fourteen ninety nine, that's a little bit worrying. That Hannah's saying to her boyfriend, "Should we make a den to watch the telly and sit in it?" Morning, John Scott. Happy women to all the women who do a wonderful job. Exactly, Gillian, International Women's Day. At 14 99 Then I'm moving on to your eight and a half by eight and a half. Now, this one's really good. We're squaring off your blocks and things like that. You've got your diagonal line there to make sure you've got it on the seam. You've got your non-slip grip. You've got your inches, your half inches, your quarter inches. You've got your non-slip grip. I've said non-slip grips. 16.99. That one seems really good value for money, that one. Gorgeous. These are all the basics you need from my sewing shop. Thank you. I should wear a brown coat, shouldn't I? Oh, do you? I don't get many people through the door, though. No, most people buy online. Sixteen ninety-nine. The big one now. Thank you, Cat. Look, fills the whole screen. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, look, there's the time. That's the red bit. It's the time there. You can see on there, look. Right. So this one is 24. No, 20. How big is it? 20 and a half by 20 and a half. Don't know where I got 24 from. Does he why? Stuart loves this ruler because he thinks it's really good and it's big. Is that... I'm just getting this from Hannah. Creative Grids are my absolute favourite, says Jenny Jackson. Uh, I used to think Creative Grids are expensive, but they're worth every penny, accurate and safe to use. I've built my collection over time from Kate in Merseyside. There you go, Kate. They get really good reviews, yeah? 
Why isn't Jenny Jackson working? Why she got the telly on? Oh no, it's because she got Facebook on. Jenny Jackson, tell your friends we're on Virgin from today. What was number five six four? Seven five four. Seven five four. Do they? Do the Virgin do the same as are all the shopping channels all in the sevens then on Virgin? When I where did I live? It must have been Twickenham. At the time, we didn't have Sky. We only had we could. The only choice was to have Virgin. Forty nine ninety nine. This one. I know. Yes, it was Twickenham because I used to watch Dairy Lee because Dairy Lee would be on from one till six every day on Virgin, wouldn't she? Yep. Seam guides, creative grid seam guides. <laughs> I'm having issues today. 15 inch first. These are brilliant for making half square triangles and quarter square triangles because what you do is you line this up with the corner of the fabric, draw there and there, and that's where you stitch. And then the one in the middle is exactly halfway point. Jenny's working and watching, packing subscription boxes. Oh, she's got the 18 and a half inch square, used it constantly, but she wants the 20 and a half now. At uh, fifteen ninety nine, what's Cat talking about now? Oh, okay, lovely. That's your fifteen, and then I've also got your nine. Oh, Ben, Ben has one right, and all through every show, it's like, who's at my front door? 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 Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Ben Tom, who works on, um, who works next door, producer next door. I've worked with him since he was about sixteen. Um, even in the car park here, he puts his crook lock on the on the steering wheel. In the car park, he was security guards, and he puts the whole. Clunk, and I thought, what you put that one? Oh, it might get stolen. It's like when Elliot in the old place, where Elliot used to take his steering wheel off. When he, brought, when he used to drive in his Land Rover, you can unscrew the steering, take the steering wheel off and bring it into the office. And that was even more secure than this one. So's Tom. Tom's from the 90s, though, isn't he? Tom went viral one, a few years ago. His girlfriend took a picture, he's, he's a fan of Arsenal Football Club, and his, and his girlfriend, wife now, took a picture of him outside the stadium, not even thinking about it, put it on her social media, and of course she cut off the second half of the word, so there's just a picture of Tom standing there looking like this, with the first half of Arsenal above him, and, and it, it got into the newspapers and everything, yeah, viral it went. Fourteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Well, the first two were right. Lovely. No. Oh, <laughs> Where are we going next? Aurafil Blue, how are you? No, that's Metla. Here, 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 it's hidden, hidden here. There it is. Got it, got it. No, that's Necessities. <laughs> the most awkward one to get to. No, no, it's not your fault. Hawaiian Blue Ginger, this is called. Which isn't this named after a penguin? Oh, I'm thinking the African penguin. What's this then? A flower. There you go. 
So you've got your variegated in your plane there. 1,300 metres on each spool. It's definitely a plant, not a penguin. It's a colour builder, though, from Orophil. It's from Hawaii. Oh, that's in the title, so that's obviously obvious. Its uh, proper name is... Uh, and I'm not going to say that. 39.99. Beautiful colours, aren't they? That's all you have to worry about. Don't worry about the name. Two variegated and one plain. Three large spools. Are they 50 weight? Yeah, 50 weight. Beautiful. Oh, we're having a bit of a difficult day today. They're going to last you for ages and ages and ages, those. It's if she has to work more than two days in a row, that's why she goes a bit funny. Yeah, and just, she's like Charlie's mum when we're at work. I don't mean like Charlie's mum. I mean, she, beha she like, behaves like a mum to Charlie. No, that's what I'm saying. You are nice to Charlie, but you're like his mum. Don't do that, Charlie. Put that down, Charlie. Right, where am I going next? I've got that one here. Orophil Necessities. Now, Necessities, you've got black and white, and then the two colours are perfect for piecing. Again, these will last and last and last. Four large spools, they're 50 weight. Graphics will come in in a minute. There's a lot of things gone missing off your screen, aren't there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we didn't play them yesterday, though. We'll come back to that, even though I've got them nicely lined up on the desk. Sorry. So sorry. Right, what's next, then? Yeah, ultra thin balls. Now, these are a bit different, because Jenny Jackson was talking about something like this the other day, <coughs> where you stick a piece of leather to your finger. This isn't the leather. This is the stainless steel thimble. And what you do is you use this sticky thing here to stick that to your finger, so it's like a thimble on your finger without wearing a thimble. They're brilliant. We used to sell them at Sewing Quarter. I don't know why it's taken so long to get them into Sewing Street. We've had these, this sort once before, and they all sold out. Oh, is it us? So look, you can put them on that finger there. Protects upper or underhand. So upper or underhand. And then can you reuse them? You don't just throw these away after one stickiness. They say sticky, yeah? Reusable adhesive. Ultimate thimble, stainless steel to protect your fingertips like the bulk of a traditional thimble. Strong enough, small enough, stable enough to stitch for hours in comfort. Fingertip size, fingertip size with precision cut dimples gives you a better needle control. Eight reusable adhesives can be used again and again to keep your ultra thimble in place. Ten ninety nine. He only just made it in time to, as they, as they open the show. Yeah. All right, be careful. This is going to sell out again. It's going to sell out again. If you've got this in your basket, you need to check out. One thimble, eight adhesives. Oh, we found the necessities. Here we go. Where were they, Han? Yeah. Do you want to borrow one of my glasses cleaners? Oh, my glasses, full stop. 1,300 metres on each spool. So as I was saying, you've got your black and your white, your basics, and these two are perfect colours for doing your piecing with. Whether you're doing EPP or you're doing stitching. Sorry, I was just wiping my nose there. EPP or um, patchwork. 
5,200 metres altogether. 100% Italian cotton taken all the way to... No, that's wrong. Egyptian cotton taken all the way to Italy and then they're formed into the... And they and use the long bits, the, the, the stay bits, so it makes a really good cotton. doesn't fluff up much either. Beautiful. Yes, I have. Now, there can't be many of these le left. Here we go. Look at this. This is beautiful. Ready? You've got a magnetised box. Whoa! Now, who's taking all the plastics off here? Oh, this one can't be sent out, can it? This will have to be... Oh, don't let Delphine see this, whatever you do. Now, it's £234. I understand that's a considered purchase. It's on three-way split pay. Now, we're going to do a special price today. There's only single figures left on this. Oh, no, you're not allowed to do that. £199.99. But you get 58. There's 45 spools on here. You've got variegated, you've got plain. It's beautiful, all those colours. So there's several variegateds in there. And your planes. So that, that makes, they make these about four, uh, how many are in here? 45. So it's 45, 45 and 90. So it's about four pounds each is or something like that. Night nearly. Nineteen ninety nine, nine hundred ninety nine ninety nine, not nineteen ninety nine, hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Split pay sixty six. Beautiful display box as well. Magnetic, and it's going to last and last and last. Do you remember um, Delphine, who does an awful lot of uh, quilting and stitching and everything? She bought my garden collection, and they, oh, yeah, the garden collection. And she said they were still were there. Like two years later, she was still using them. So how long is this going to last you? It's beautiful, isn't it? They're all 50 weight. Beautiful. Check out, check out, check out on that one. Quilting gloves. Quilting gloves there. Right, so these, uh, if you do free motion or quilting quilting, these are brilliant because, first of all, they keep your work clean. That's the main thing. Secondly, they've got these little... Uh, now, you can wash these, but do not put them in the tumble dryer because these little nodules will melt. You put them on, and then... A, a lot of um, people who make wedding dresses have to wear these as well to keep the wedding dress clean, but they're easy to pick the pins up and hold onto the needle and things like that. But when you're doing your free motion like this, it just seems to take away a bit of the tension out of your arms and your shoulders. Um, Angie Atwood, she wears hers all the time. Um... Helen Newton, she wears hers all the time as well. When, not all the time. Like, not when she's shopping and things like that. But when she's doing her quilting and things. Now, these are medium to large, but they are stretchy. 3 99 There you go. That's how you wear them. They're like that. I've got what? I have got the stiletto here. So this is... Oh, have you got this one open, Cap? <coughs> what this has got here... <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I do a podge. <coughs> oh, I'll just take some water. Not sure what's hit the back of my throat today. <coughs> so on this end, you've got a stiletto. So when you're sewing in the machine, you don't want to put your finger too close to the needle. You can just feed the fabric through like that. Right? But when you're ironing, and you don't want to get your finger too close to the iron, this is a, um, a silicon which will take heat and you can push, so you've got your iron here, you can put that right up to the iron, can't you? And it's not gonna, you don't have to, because normally you'd be like, ooh, 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 I'm acting, acting, ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you eating? Oh, this is, this is cat, right, this morning. I said, oh, is this all your packed lunch? She went, yeah, I hadn't got any fruit, so I bought chocolate instead. I said, did the shop not have any fruit in it? She went, well, yeah, I was at the chocolate aisle by then, I couldn't be bothered finding fruit. So now she's shoving her face with, Chocolate now. Anyway, uh, 12 99 that is. 
Beautiful. And she gets very angry if they put fruit in chocolate. Okay, what's next? What's next? Can you see it on the table? Cat iron cleaner. It's hidden right the way around there. Thank you. Now, this is something that's not changed in donkey's years. It's been the same since I first started saying, make sure you use this in an open uh, place with windows open or outside if you can. So, you know, when your iron gets all gunky on the bottom with your bond web and the starch and things like that, what you do is you heat the iron up, you then take this, take the cover of this, and you spread it all over the base of the iron here. What will happen is the most acrid brown fumes will go everywhere. They stink the place out, right? And, and they drip down the iron. So then you get a, a cloth and you wipe the sole of the iron. What you've got to remember is up, wipe underneath the ridge at the back as well, because it does go up under the ridge. And what you also must do is put, have water in the iron and steam it out, because some of the brown stuff gets into the holes. You can then iron a shirt or something, and all the brown stuff will come out when you steam it. Um, but it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's ne I dread to think what's in it. I dread to think what's in there at 4 99 Stabilisers. Yep, I can see those. Now these, if you've got an embroidery machine, these are a must. Whoa! It's these shelves, look, because they're just like... They're not fixed or anything. They're just like, it's hobby maker, hobby maker shelves. Right, look. If I put some holes in it, I could do Austra Australian crystal ring, couldn't I? Right, so what's in here then? You can see here, you've got low, oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, 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 it's very sharp, that shelf. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, 15 99 what you get is you get four of each of these. You get a tear away, a wash away, and a cut away. I didn't ruin it. It didn't try to kill me. <laughs> right, so what you do is in here, you get big samples of each of the stabilisers, and you get a book in there to tell you what each of the stabilisers are for. Look. Slice my finger open. Fantastic. Yeah, oh, it's one of those really horrible, like, oh, deep paper cuts. Uh, anyway... I will have to put it, I'll put it in the accident book. Yeah. <laughs> Is Alex my breaker in? Because it, it took me, it's been over a year. It's been, it's been um, over a year since he had to take it to A&E, isn't it? Anyway, look, what you get is you get all the different stabilisers, the books tell you what it is, but the samples are big enough for you to even do a proper project with them so you know what stabilisers you need. For $15.99, this is a brilliant, look at that. that, that's one of them folded in half. So it's not like they give you a little couple of inches of, a, of a, a sample. They give you a proper big sample to be able to do all of your projects with. No, but if you, what you can do is, we don't sell these by the half metre at the moment. We used to. We used to sell them on the roll, but we don't do them here. Um, but when you work out what you want, because some of them, when you're doing on a toweling fabric, you put it on the top. If you want to make lace, then you use the wash away, the heavy wash away one. You do your lace product, then you put it in water and it all disappears. And the piece of lace, the pure lace is left there. $15.99, this is brilliant. At $15.99. $15.99. This is really good. If you've bought one of our, our um, uh, embroidery machines recently, thank you, Cap. Oh, it hasn't got any prints. haven't got any princesses on it or anything. No, no. <laughs> um, anyway, 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 this is fantastic. Uh, also, 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 a bit of a scoop here. I'm going to be launching an embroidery machine soon. Inside scoop. But the, today's inside scoop is um, we're on Virgin. We're on Virgin from today onwards. 754, we think it is. 754. And now are all the shop are all the shopping channels in the sevens then on Virgin. 
Well, we'll have a look. There we go. Thanks, Cat. Right, Joe. There we go. Fifteen ninety nine. Big suitcase of thread now. I've just got two, yeah? Sarah Long. So this is um, Sarah Long thread, 96 spools of art Sarah Long. Uh, I'll tell you what it is in a second. It's a trade name, isn't it, Sarah Long? What you get in here is you get all of these. Three-way split pay, 199.99. And now, how many are there? I think there's something like 96. 96 balls, but you also get this. Now, this, if you buy this alone, that costs 25 pounds on its own, which is the colour chart, right? Now, they're not coloured in. They're actual threads wound, wound round a little bit of cardboard. All-purpose threads. Particularly strong. Is it sheeny as well? Because I can't see these have all got um, plastic on them. No, actually, there's one there. There, it's it's just a regular thread, but it's extra strong. Hundred percent polyester, so you get ninety six of them in there, and you get the book, which is worth twenty five pounds. One hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Then the other one I've got. Poly sheen, so again polyester. Yeah, it'll be the same price, 199.99. Oh, ready? 159. Oh, and this one's open, 159.99. We think this should be 199 as well. Uh, is it on split pay? Yep, three-way split pay. Shouldn't even be on three. -way. Oh yes, it will at 159. Three-way split pay. So you can get this home today, no interest charged, at 53.33. And they pay two more of those. That wasn't me, my hands are here. That was nothing to do with me. 159.99, only two left though, only two left. You get the chart again. Oh, hang on. There's a note in this one. I love you, John. There are two errors in this polysheen chart. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, one day it says you'll be on Virgin TV again. Back on Virgin. And we are today. 159.99. You said that with the biggest sigh in your voice. Hold your percent polyester. <coughs> Washable. What was the other thing you said? Just can't even remember. I watched it up to 60 degrees. Too many people, there's only two of those left, and there's more people in baskets than we've got stock of. Right, we're going for a break now then. Uh, Catherine's coming up next. She's doing a book. The price is going to be dropped. It's a book where, now, it, this is just one of the many, many, many projects in the book, but it tells you if you want to put a pocket on, if you want to put a zip in, if you want to put a magnetic clasp on, it's like the go-to guide on tote bags. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. We've got a lovely new security guard working here. And you know when somebody's new and they're like really, really good at their job and everything. And he, and he just, I just saw him now and he went, I'm here to protect you. And I went, oh, that's really sweet of you. So I banged on the window and went, Hannah, he's here to protect us. Wait, give him a week. Can he be like, yeah, get out. Anyway, Catherine's back. How are you, Catherine? I'm good, thank you. Have you been telling everyone about your sellout show? I did message my family, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and did you know we're on Virgin now? I So I heard. Yeah, we're yeah. not allowed to tell anyone. No, OK, I won't. 754 Virgin. We've got people messaging saying they're watching on, on Virgin already, which is good. Right, brand new bag. Now, if you already checked out which lots you have, you're not going to pay the price that you thought you were going to pay. Right, here's the book. It's called Sewing Perfect Little Bags and Totes. They don't look little. They're not little, though, are they? Sewing Perfect Little Bags. Well, that one's not... enormous. Hmm? That one's enormous. 14.99. It's enormous, that one. Right, so let's have a look at the book then. Lots of you had checked out on this before the hour. So it's called Fine Tuning Essential Techniques from Cutting Out to Hardware. So there's your instruction. Here's all the projects. I'm presuming these are projects, are they? Page 20. 
Oh, there's so much more before that, though. Look at all this. Um, OK, so I'll go through this. I'll go through the contents here. Right? Tools and materials, interfacing, sewing machine feet, zip options. It's American, obviously. Zipper options. Bottom options. Hannah would like a smaller one, please. You've only got the choice of a boxed, a curved, or a dart. Curved, OK. Straps and handles. Uh, then you've got pockets, bag closure, fabric options. And then there must be projects in here, look, because of this. So, oh, my word. Projects galore. So hang on, we've done a big bag with a pocket on the front. We've done the exterior width po uh, pocket. 64. There. Yes. That's the one we've <laughs> done. I thought we'd done 47, but 64. Right, so look, oh, there's uh, the Aliso Pro. Wait till Tuesday for the new one that's arriving on Tuesday. Uh, I've, I've been <coughs> back, don't worry. Are you in on Tuesday, Hannah? Yeah. Uh, zipper options, there you go. Basic zippers, additional zipper tabs. Bottom options, here we go, is there a picture of Hannah? What did you want, a curvy one? Hang on, let's look for curvy. There you go. Beautiful. Dark corners, straps and handles. Everything you need to know about making a tote bag or a bag is in here, isn't it? Look. So what it is, is have they got a project? Oh, no, hang on, I've got to the project show. Well, page sales was on 64. No, you're right. Every, pro every oh, technique no. has a project. Every technique has a project with it. Yeah, nice. Adding a zipper pull. Pockets. Oh, so this must be where we are then, because there's the bag that we're making, right? So then it tells... Oh, no, it says patch pocket there. Oh, thrown me now. Maybe just use the same fabric, zippered pocket. There it is. So we're doing an exterior width pocket on our bag. Then it tells you what you need, and then it tells you how to do it. With loads and loads of pictures, creative grid rulers. Little red clips that we sell. And then they... Now, I wouldn't put my phone at a jaunty angle like that because you're bound to lose it, aren't you? Uh, so this, this, this bag has no fastenings. It's just doing the extra wide uh, pocket on the outside. But if you want to put magnetic clasp on, you could. If you want to do a flap closure, you could. Any of these, beautiful. Or even quilting. That's nice, isn't it? You could use one of Shirley's rulers for that, couldn't you? Beautiful. There she is. Carolina Moore. Anyway, beautiful book. £14.99. We've taken £2 off because it's brand, it's brand new. Brand new. Why have we taken £2 off? It's brand new. Launch. It's a launch for us, this one. Uh, John, do you say you're at Creative Craft Show next week? Yeah, only Thursday. Uh, is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. I'm on the first day. Is that the 14th? Yeah, Thursday the 14th I'm there. I better be because I've just bought my parking ticket to go to go in. What are you looking at me like that for? They don't, they don't, they don't organise your parking. I can claim it back. That's all right. Hayley Bryant normally does it, but she's in Australia. Oh, fair enough. So I didn't feel like I could text her in Australia going, where's my parking permit? No, no, fair enough. And if you don't <laughs> order it ahead, you have to pay full price, you see. So I'm ordering ahead to get it cheaper. Uh, for them, for yeah. them. Anyway, uh, good morning, John. Have a great book. These books look great. They are, Carol. They are fantastic. Right, so that's what we've got three bundles for you to make three, uh, three different looking bags out of with this one. Which one are you demoing with? This the, the yellow one. The Scandi one. one. Let's... Look, do this one first. Hmm? Ours is. Okay, I'll go back to that in a minute. No, 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 no. But I just want to tell you the book. It, you know, we always go to the Long River to find things cheaper, right? Uh, we're more affordable than the Long River today at that price. But remember, we've crashed it, so we'll go back up. Should be sixteen ninety nine. Right. So, look at this. So, you get half a metre of the Scandi. Oh, it's, it's designed in England. <laughs> Scandi design designed in England. You get one metre of your gold. You get a lot of fabric in these bundles to, to do a project and to play because you've got a metre and a half of naturally seeded. Naturally seeded. Now, you don't get the book in the bundle. This is just a bundle of fabric. Just a bundle of fabric there. 23 99 Cat giving our sewing machines away. 
Oh. It's what? Delphine. Delphine in today. Oh, she, oh, Delphine's doing TikToks because she couldn't do them the other day because she broke their nail. No, no, no. She said she wasn't doing it because we're breaking her nail. Yeah. Anyway, so twenty three ninety nine for this bundle of fabric. One and a half naturally seeded. One of your gold, corn gold, and half of your Scandi. But the Scandi is a canvas, and it is extra wide. Beautiful. So that's that one. That's one you're going to see Catherine using to make the bag with. Now I've got the one that the sample's made out of, but there's a bit of an issue here, so I should bring this one. Not an issue for anyone, just us. Right, so this is the bag here. So it's got the blue, it's got the dark blue, and it's got the blue floral. You will get all three of those fabrics. So you will get a metre and a half of the navy blue. You will get one metre of the, uh, I want to say, Cobalt, oh, Copen, Copen. But you'll also get half a metre of, of this fabric as well. It just, what happened was that the warehouse sent the wrong one up. It was like a brown flower. Who's got it? Roy. Roy? He's got it, has he? Well, he was. I just saw him outside. Anyway, that's that, 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 that. Uh, that's flying out. That's not the blue one. And then, wait till you see this one. This is gorgeous. So you get a metre and a half of this one. I'd say coral. You get a metre of that one, which I'd say was rose. And you get, I'm not getting any help here. And you get half a metre of this one, which, oh dear, Barrier, the brand new one. What's the matter, Kat? That one and that one. Oh, azalea, apparently. What, that one? Like that. Might be azalea, not coral. Anyway, but you'll get, that's what you get. That's the one you get. <laughs> Anna's just gone, that's the one you get anyway. She's, <laughs> she's, she's had enough now. She's counting down the minutes. Uh, did you get your piece of paper in the break to write your list? Oh, have you? Lovely. Beautiful. There we go. So that's, that, that's a gorgeous bundle, that one, isn't it? Well, it doesn't look as nice on, the, on there, does it? Right, uh, you also need to make 640, maybe. So now, are we selling it by a half metre? Oh, a metre piece. Oh, right, this is the most affordable way of buying it because it's 5.99 for half a metre. Yeah, no, this, one, this one's the whole metre, this one. This one's a whole metre. So, normally, we sell this by the half metre at 5 99 which means it'd be £12, wouldn't it? You're getting this for £10 now. So that's good. And we've also got some iron-on interfacing. Medium weight. 3 99 for your iron-on interfacing. And before we go to Catherine, I just want to tell you about the book. Because it's very, very popular. Should be sixteen ninety nine. Remember, Anna's taken two pounds off for you for the launch. Okay, and how many did I start with? Right, when you've when you've checked out, over half the stock's gone already. We haven't even really gone through it yet, have we? Beautiful, isn't it? So what it is is I'll just explain. Is at the front here. It tells you contents. It's got all these different projects, like zips, what kind of bottoms they've got, what kind of straps and handles, what kind of pockets, what kind of closure or attractive, uh, what kind of fabric you're going to buy, and things like that. Then each time it brings you a new um, project, a new uh, technique, you get a project to go with. So here we go with the zips, right? Basic zipper. So it shows you how to make that project, putting in a basic zip. Then, if you want to add zipper tabs, there's another project here showing you how to put zipper tabs on. Then you've got your bottom options here. And so, boxing the bottom, project to make a box bottom pouch. Then there'll be one here with a curved bottom, project to make a curved bottom. And then you've got your darted corners, project to make a darted corners pouch. Then we've gone to straps and handles, adding inset handles, externally secured handles, wrist straps. Uh, handle hardware. Uh, we needed this yesterday, didn't we, with all the hardware we had yesterday. Um, have you got another one coming up next week? Uh, zipper pulled, <clears throat> then pockets, which we're going to concentrate on today. 
pouch pockets, zippered pockets, uh, exterior width pocket, that's what we're doing today. Uh, then bag closure hardware. So all of this. We used to sell that fabric, didn't we? Oh, and that one. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then fabric options of what to use and things like that. Quilting and everything. It's got so much in it for your 14 99 It's very, very popular. There are an awful lot sitting in baskets, though, so you need to check out. Uh, not, I'm not saying you need to check out because they're going to sell out because we're halfway there. So we're all right at the moment. But there'll be suddenly be in about half an hour, there'll be a sudden rush. And that's when I'll be going, if you don't check out now, you're going to miss out. Oh, another 20 people just added it to their baskets. Okay, right. So, Catherine, what are, where are we starting? What are we doing? How are we doing it? Right, well... Right. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I've cut out all my pieces ready. Lovely. Um, uh, and we're going to attach our interfacing to our pocket pieces. I thought I'd do that, this bit, on, on air because often when people make bags... They can't get these bits to attach very well. And it's, right. all, it's all about how long you hold your iron on for. Okay. Really. So I thought, I thought I'd thought demo it. Okay. I th no. So have you got what have you got there? So I've got my nice pocket. Yeah, scan. but with the normal interface. I've got some, yep. yeah, normal uh, medium weight interface. Yeah, lovely. Now I'm going to put a little cloth over the top. Right. Or, I know it's a bit, it's what I was out the back there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where have you got that? We've got it out the back. I just found it out, out the, oh, in the green room there. that's what I've been looking for. Not that piece, but, you know, a decent size yeah. piece. Um, and it, you've got to properly, properly kind of press it on. Yeah. For a few seconds to make yeah. it stick. You can't kind of rub it over and then think, Expect oh, it's... Expect it to be it's, gay, it's, Yeah, actually. absolutely. When you think about it, you've got to melt the glue in ba yeah. basic terms. You're melting the glue absolutely. for it to stick, aren't you? Just going to move it across because again, it's only a small ironing mat. Yeah. So I think you probably spend as long doing this as you do sewing it, really. Yeah. But it's worth it. So we can see that's attached nicely. Yeah, lovely. Um, we are going to do the other one. It does interface both of them. Okay, what did I just say? In half an hour, I'll be telling you to check out. Well, it's four minutes later, and I'm telling <laughs> you now you've got to check out. <laughs> Suddenly, there's been a huge influx. Uh, fewer than 40 now. Fewer than 40 books left. Brand new today and should be 16 99 I think what's nice about it is it's a really... Yes, it's got loads and loads of products in, but it, it will serve as a really useful reference book. Mm. So if you're doing any bag pattern and you think, oh, I really want to put a clasp on this, it doesn't yeah. have a clasp in that pattern, you can go to it and it's going to tell you how to do yeah. it. And I really like a reference book. Oh, yeah, totally. Mm. Absolutely. Um, because I'm, it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing it, no. you can have one of those mornings where you go, oh, just put a ruler on, oh, do I cut it out? Oh, you know. well, well, there's some things you don't do all the time, exactly. aren't, isn't there? Yeah. So you just think, oh, I just need a re reminder. Yeah. And I'm not a big YouTuber person. I, I, like, I like to read a book, yeah. me, personally. Plus, we they look loved nice. yesterday. We had James from Search Press in yesterday and with some amazing bargain just today. It's a good job I wasn't watching because yeah. I have a very I've got a bit very overloaded bookshelf. Oh okay. Have. Okay so we're going to when you've got your interfacing on we're going to prep our pockets we're going to put them right sides together and stitch along the top edge. So and obviously, obviously I have a little I think I've put my interfacing on the wrong side there. Oh <laughs> no. I have. We'll make that the inside. Never mind. Oh, never mind. There's always one thing, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even look, it's subtle. I know. <laughs> I didn't even notice either. You can't take me anywhere, honestly. Right, OK, so we're going to stitch along the top edge and the bottom. We're making a tube with this. Oh, OK. Yes. Oh, is it, OK. So let's move that out of the way. Yeah. And let's see if I can actually Make sure you sew, the right sew something properly. <laughs> okay, fewer than 20 books now. I fewer need to than just 20. go home for a lie down, really. Yeah. 
Hannah does as well for no reason. Hannah just wants to lie down as well. Did you out last night then, Han? Oh no. She went to bed at seven o'clock and she's still tired. Gosh, that's quite early, isn't it? Yeah. No, I think you're tired as well. Being snotty doesn't make you forgetful. So you're making a tube? I'm making a tube. But you'll do it properly. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're paid for, to come on and do it properly. But don't worry. I like to give everyone the reassurance that, you know, we can all make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with the book now. Be careful with the book. Okay. Let me okay, if you, less than 20 now. Less than 20 now. Turn this round. And press it beautifully. It's, a, it's weird that they put the patterned fabric on the inside of the pocket as well. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily, would you? No, because you've got enough of your darker fabric. I'd save my fancy fabric. Yes. And put the dark fabric inside the pocket. I think that would be a good idea. Keep the um, fancy, either Scandi, the Odile, or the floral extra, you know, extra for something else. And then when you've done this and pressed it you're going to just top stitch along the top edge yeah uh, and it the book actually does two rows of top stitching oh, okay so it's top stitching rather than under stitching then yes I like top stitching for decorative purposes. Yes. I mean, you could. If you've got a machine that's got decorative stitches, you could put decorative stitches along there as well, couldn't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I'm doing a talk at the Shottery WI this afternoon. And I haven't even thought about what I'm going to say. And they booked me a year ago. I don't think you'll have too much trouble. Oh, what? Talking. <laughs> about stuff. <laughs> You're quite a chatty man. <laughs> Somebody messaged in this morning, first thing this morning, going, oh, Johnny, you're never grumpy. And everyone in there went, man, they should come in here and do work experience. They didn't see how grumpy he was. <laughs> I'm very shy. Are oh, you? Shy yeah. and retiring? Yeah. Yeah. So when somebody wafts money at me, that's when I get <laughs> Um No, it'd be lovely. It'd be, it will be lovely, but yeah. it's just been a long week and I'm quite tired. And then the, I hope I'm emails if it's uh, w yesterday. Sorry. No, no, it's all right. And so people are booking, book, booking me for like late 2025 Good now. Good grief. And you know Cat, producer Cat? Yes. She came in the other day going, what are you doing on May the 26th? And I said, why should you get married? And I went, God, that's not long to get ready. And she went, no, May 2026. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, if it's a WI, there'll be cake, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely... There'll be tea and cake, so it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, be yeah. Good, all be good. OK, so you're going to get your fronts and front and back and pop your fusible H640. onto it. I'm going to press it. I'm actually going to press it on this side to make it stick. What well, is one metre enough to do this bag then? Yes. Oh, yeah. Ample. Ample, definitely. I think you'd have enough to do some of the other projects in the book too. Brilliant. Some of the smaller ones. Oh, yeah, you'd definitely make some pouches and things. That's the leftover fabric, couldn't you? And also, the, the bundles are really lovely just having your stash anyway. Depending on whether you go the blue, the yellow or the pink, they're really lovely fabrics to have in your stash. It is yeah, always useful to have those sort of plain colours, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'll just move that out of the way. Let's 
sec. I need a bigger table. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to help? Okay. Uh, we're not. I'll do whichever way you want, Hannah. But no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. And this particular tote bag has got a box to bottom. Um, and we're going to draw three inches, a three-inch square. Yeah. So I can get my little ruler like that and line it up so that I know that's right. And then cut that out. Lovely. Well, there's big box bottoms. Well, that, yeah, but it's a big bag, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. And you want you it know, wide. It's, it's a good in, size yeah. bag, so. M message, quick question. If I use H640 on a bag or a cushion, do I need to quilt it or will the glue stay stuck? Good question, Stephanie. Well, I haven't quilted that one and I think it stayed okay. Yeah. I mean, Quite often you trap it in a little bit on the side yeah. when you're sewing your side seams and that's enough. Yeah. I suppose it depends how many times you're going to throw it in the washing machine. If you want to, you just do simple... <coughs> you could do simple quilting and just do a few straight lines. That's what you could do. I mean, it's, yes, it's quite a nice project for having a go at little yeah. bit of quilting, isn't it? But remember, you have to do the quilting while it's still on the flat. So you'd have to do the quilting now, wouldn't you? Yes. <coughs> oh, but that's always me. easier. <coughs> oh, dear me. What's the matter with me today? It's that giant piece of chocolate. It's, it's what? stuck. No, it is that piece of chocolate. <laughs> that's what it is. It's cat's fault. Okay, so you're going to cut out your corners like that. And then we're going to get our nice pocket and we're going to pop it on. And I'm just seeing if it tells us what height. Four inches from the bottom. From the bottom bottom or from that line you've cut? From the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah. Here's what it tells us. That was a good guess. So we're going to clip it into place and then we're going along the bottom edge. Okay. So they haven't included it into the bottom seam. It's a completely separate entity. Yes. Yeah. I think it would make your bottom seem quite bulky yeah, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. And also, I suppose, if you, like, we just got one big pocket. If you know you're buying bottles of wine, like Hannah, you could almost do lines. Well, it does. It does. Oh, is it got one in the middle? Next. Got, oh, sorry, it, sorry, I mean, sorry, it says you can uh, do it where you want to. Yeah. So I'll go across the bottom and then we'll divide it up. I don't think you can see it on my sample because I've used a uh, thread that matches. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were doing it the other way around. Sorry, I'm, we're just doing a bit of business. I thought we were doing it the other way around. So I was going to do the overlockers on the big table and then move over here, but we can do it the other way around. As in, I thought we were going to do all the overlockers on the big table, then I was going to stop so Kat could clear those for Hobby Maker, and then I'd come over here, but is that not going to work? Okay, okay, all right. So I'm doing two rows of stitching on the bottom as well. A to yep. match the top and B just to make it good and strong. Yeah. Sorry, I know you're trying to concentrate. I'm <laughs> waving my arms all around. It's fine. On both. It goes on both tables. So we put the lower price ones on this table, the higher price ones on that my table. My bobbins run out. Oh, no. We've got a spare one, do we know? Oh. Let's have a look. Your, ba your bobbin's run out. My battery's run out. <laughs> got halfway along there. Yeah. All right. I'll quickly wind another one. Don't think there's any spare ones. 
Unless Kat's going to... Are you, are you about to... Put, no, she's bringing no, she's you a microphone. No, she's coming my back. She's not your bobbin. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? They just... They always run out of... I had loads on at the start as well. I do what? I had loads on oh, at yeah. the start. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because you've done too much sewing. Right, I'm back, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Okay, now, I told you, didn't I, in half an hour's time, there's too many people got this book in their baskets now, so people are going to miss out. You need to check out, check out, check out on this book. Coming round, there it is. 14 99 now it's meant to be 16 99 We're launching it today. Way too many people got it in their baskets now. You do need to check out on that one. You've got the Midas touch today, Catherine, selling out on everything. <laughs> Sue says, feeling very sorry for herself today. She's got arthritis in her fingers, killing her, and she's got lots to do. Oh, I've got, I've got it in one finger, and on the days when it hurts, you only have to touch a table like that, don't you? And it's like really, really sore. Okay. <laughs> and it's gone nice. It's not nice, Hannah. Better. There we go. I could. It must have been going because it wasn't sewing brilliantly either. It's up oh, there. You know no. when it gets near the end. Okay. So then you can draw yourself a nice line wherever you want, really, thinking where you want to put it in your. I bag. suppose what you're going to be I'm buying, gonna it, isn't it, really? Yeah, but I'm going to put it down the middle. Okay. So I'm actually going to. I could measure, but if I actually finger press it, it's going to give me. Yeah. A nice little line, and then I can easily put it in. And I would suggest that you stitch past your pocket a bit to, so you, and reverse across that so it's, you know, really strong. Then when you put things in, it's not going to come away. Yeah. You could put your, um, what they called, what those French sticks. You could put your French sticks in there. Your baguette. <laughs> Baguettes. My husband loves a demi-baguette. Oh, a demi-baguette? Yes. Well, he can mm. eat a whole one. No. <laughs> he, he eats one big one. When I used to work, used to work in theatre, I, I presume you could still buy them. You'd buy ones that would go in the oven for like nine minutes. And they, so you get them out and I'd have br butter, brie and strawberry jam. Oh, <laughs> brie and strawberry jam is delicious. To go. Uh, cheese is my down, I love. Oh, you like my sister-in-law, Julie. She, she can ignore a bar of chocolate in the fridge, but no. a piece of cheese. I would always choose cheese. Choose cheese. I've got cheese today with, oh, in fact, in my trolley, um, with mango and ginger in it. That sounds nice. Well, I didn't I mean to have that one, but that's the one I've got. I like things like brie and, well, I like all cheese, really. Yeah. There we go. Is the pocket only on one side? It is, but yeah. you could put, you see, if you decided, like you suggested, to use a different fabric for your lining, then you could put one on the inside, oh, you yeah, could put yeah, one on both yeah, sides, exactly. couldn't you? Lovely. Uh, please be careful. Way too many people got the book in their basket now. There's still 20 not checked out, or just fewer than 20 not checked out, but there's like three times, four times the amount in the baskets. Okay, so I'm going to do a back then just to match and then we'll start putting it together. There it is. I've lost my piece of fleece. Oh. It floated away. <laughs> is it not stuck? Oh, you haven't done that. I haven't done that one. And the thing about the fleece, if you're a beginner, it's definitely got a side with the glue on it and a side not with the glue on it. Very much so. Yeah. And it feels, the side with the glue feels a little bit rough. That's how you can tell. It's slightly shiny and it feels yeah, rough to you. Yeah, you can feel fingers, it because it's got the kind of little nod, jod, nodules of glue on it, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't stick it to your iron. Especially not if you've got one of these lovely fancy irons. Yeah. Oh, the new Aliso on Tuesday. It's got a light. It's got everything. I can't tell you too much. Does that mean you can iron in the dark? Yeah. It, but <laughs> the, the light points at where you're ironing. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you too much because I'm saving it for the launch on Tuesday. 
It looked a nice colour. Yeah, it's, the colours are lovely. The sewing street colours. I don't think it's meant to be sewing street colours, it just happens. Yeah, it just colours. is. Okay, so let's just draw and cut out our corners on this one as well. Hang on, that way. It depends if they're the new ones or the old ones. There's a new one and an old one. Uh, I've had that cheese with mango and ginger. It's one of the nicest cheeses I've ever had. Delicious, says Sue. Oh, they, it is nice. But it's kind of sweet rather than savoury, obviously. One of the best places I ever went to for a meal somewhere. Oh, I don't. Near Wooden Bassett, because I went with my brother. Oh, yeah. And they brought, you know how normally you have a sweet trolley? Yeah. They brought a cheese trolley. No. Whole trolley full of all that these really, oh, it was lovely. Really like loads of different and cheeses that you've not heard of. Well, they'd give you everything to taste and then you could choose the ones you wanted. Oh, my oh. word. It was heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no profiteroles then. Morning, John. Lovely surprise. Channel surfing and there you were. I've missed you from Rona and Michael in Norfolk. Are you on Virgin? Are you on Virgin then, Rona and Michael? I know. Brand new today. Brand new today. Uh, I'm loving you being on Virgin. I can watch you while I clean my bedroom and pause you when I need to go out of the room. <gasps> Anne. Anna, that one is. Anna. You're going out to get the Mr Sheen. OK, so we're going to put right sides together. Now, I'll, can I explain how they do it in the book and then offer a different way? That of I course think you better? can. Of course <laughs> you can, yeah. So in the book, she puts her corners together like that first. Now? Separately. But then I think that's really tricky to then put the whole bag together. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do it the way I always do it, which is I'm going to sew my bottom seam and side seam yeah. and then box the corners. How strange. I just think it's making it awkward having to go round a three-dimensional corner. Yeah, 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 definitely. So now, when you do your um, box corner, do you have to go back to the bit where it says box corners, or does she explain? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's a good question. I don't know, what does she say? No, she does explain it. Oh no, she does. I mean, there now. Yeah, because yeah, you'd think when she does the box corners for something else, she'd just go, oh, go back to page. She maybe doesn't go into quite as much detail. Go, box in the box. But she does. Yeah, it's, it, it, it does say what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I'm doing it slightly different to how it is in the book. Read in the book now. <laughs> so when you stitch up these side seams, you're then catching in the sides of the pocket at yeah. the same time. They're really quite thick there, then. Oh, quick, quick up there, John. Try that cheese mixed in an omelette. It's lovely from Dye in Yorkshire. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, I might do that for my tea tonight. I like cheese omelettes. Yes, I love a cheese omelette. Now I want one of those for lunch when I get home. Yeah, but I like <laughs> to buy grated cheese and just spring or feta. I love feta in an omelette as well. Goat's cheese and spinach. That's a good combo. Mm? Goat's cheese and spinach. That's a nice combo. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, Viv's just tuned into Virgin, how brilliant, she says. 
Uh, I don't think so. I don't know, Sue. There's been talk of it, but it's not been adapted for England yet, the UK yet. So if we do, it'll be quite a while, I imagine. So you've got your sides and your bottom seam ready. So then when I box the corner... No, I, I do exactly the same as you, yeah. She's, she's described it exactly the same way. She has written it exactly the same in this one as she has in the pouch one earlier. Yeah. So she does do it this way each time. Um, so you just want to make sure that that seam is matching there. Yeah. And then you can stitch across. I think it's much, much, it's just much less fiddly. Stitch one and then do the other. Same on this side. What's the matter? Oh, is the book sold out? Well, says Hannah. There are single figures of the book available. However, 40 in baskets. The maths are not working for Hannah. <laughs> But be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, because you're going to miss out. OK. So we can turn this around and have a look at it now. Okay. It While you're doing that, can I do bundles? Do so. The one that we're working with is this one here. So you get half a metre of the Scandi designed in Great Britain. You get a metre of your corn and one and a half metres of your naturally seeded. There's no book in the bundle, just the fabric uh, bundle. Three metres for £23.99. Beautiful. That one's a canvas. Those two are your cottons. I mean, that's a cotton canvas, obviously, but it's a heavier weight. Uh, then we've got the one that we've made, the blue one. So what you get in this one, you get a metre and a half of the navy blue. You get a metre of the copen. And you, half a metre, it hasn't arrived, but you get half a metre of this big blue Scandi. Where is that? Was but then it's Jess sitting on it upstairs, do you think? Who did, did Jess do this hour? Jess did this hour, didn't she? Uh, um, anyway. That's that one. And then we've also got the uh, pinky one. So a metre and a half of your, of your azalea, a metre of your rose, and then half a metre of your Odile Bellia. The snake there, chameleon there, parrot there. That is lovely, that fabric. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I thought that's all sold out. We had a really big show on that this week, last week. Right, Joe. Uh, books wise, please check out, check out, because you're, you're going to miss out. Which bundle's most popular? Uh, it's a, a exact between the yellow and the blue at the moment, are in the oh. lead. Yeah, but if you bought both of them, they look lovely together, wouldn't they? Mind you, I like the pink one. Yeah, I like the pink one. So you're going to do exactly the same for the lining. Yep. Box out the corners. I'm going to put that to one side for now. Put it together. We'll put some handles together, I think. Yeah, lovely. She actually tells you to do that first. What, the handles? Yeah.
feels like it's going home time, doesn't it? <laughs> Does it feel like you've been here for hours? Huh? Does it feel like you've been here for hours? Yes. And days. So the thing is, when I set off from my house, I thought I set off this morning and thought, well, John's there already. Oh. I have to go on a long detour still at the moment because the bridge is still shut. Oh, we've had so many road closures and stuff around yeah. us. It's been a night. Oh, you can't get out of Strat. No, not for me in the morning. Going the other way, going to the motorway. The road's completely shut. You have to go a complete detour. But not only was the bridge shut last week and the week before, it was flooded. All the roads were flooded. So oh, I had to go no. even bigger detour last week. Yeah, we've got, um, near where I live, we have a lot of train bridges and they're electrifying the whole line. Oh, my So the word. bridges are all being rebuilt because oh. they're not tall enough. So they're just closing all these roads yeah. Ooh, for months right. and months. And yeah, months. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I'm attaching some fusible fleece to my handle pieces. I think it's nice to put in either fleece or interfacing in your handles. It just gives them extra strength. Well, also if you put potatoes in them, you don't yeah. cut it into your hand. Do no, you, you, you don't. Okay. And... In the book, we're going to. She does some right, wrong, sorry, right sides together, stitches down and turns them through. Is the H640 smaller than the fabric? Very slightly, yeah. yes. Just to make it a bit easier to sew. Yeah. You've got a busy day then if you're off to the WI as well. Yeah. You got a little rest this weekend? Or are you here? I'm going to London tomorrow. Uh, and then I'm doing brunch on Sunday. Ooh. And then I'm doing my Facebook Live on Sunday afternoon. Nice. I like. I think I'm having my hair cut on Monday. I know there's something in the diary for Monday. So on... Uh, uh, can't think of the date. Tuesday this week, yeah. So in... Um, the, the lady that takes my photographs for my patterns, yeah. she does a charity thing for Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. And you can take your child or your mum and have your photograph taken, and it's a donation, and it goes to charity. Oh. So um, I had a nice day out with my mum for Mother's Day, and I took her along, and it was so funny because there were all these really young mums with their little babies in buggies, uh. and there was me with Oh. <laughs> but we're going to get a really nice photo now. Yeah. So it's good. It's on Sunday, cat. Cat's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important day of the year, cat. Mothering Sunday as well, not Mother's Day. I'm very strict on that. Oh, is it? Is that Mothering what Sunday. Say? Okay. Yeah, cat's panicking. <laughs> it's only Friday. Amazon Prime will deliver on yeah. Saturday, won't it? <laughs> Okay, let's see how easy it is to turn these round. Possibly not that easy. <laughs> turn two. Do you want to turn it round while I stitch the other one? Oh, if I must. <laughs> I've got fat fingers and I'm damaged <laughs> from that shelf falling off. Oh, and your over. arthritis and. <laughs> oh dear, I tell what I need. A turner. Good. I haven't got the turner, I've just got the, I've got the stick. The turning round puts you off though. You can always do it the other way. Which, yeah, um, I would. So that you top stitch, which is probably what I would have done, but I yeah. was just, you know, doing what she's, she's said. Just because with the fleece, it makes it harder, doesn't it? Yeah, he's so struggling over here. I'm going to race, race you now. Oh, you'll easily beat me. <laughs> Although if you've got a turner, that they do. The turners, the actual turners behind you, I think, in the in the um, yeah, the box it's it's kind of hard to find stuff, isn't it? With, with all, all these balloons. balloons. 
It's coming. It's coming. I can't see it. Oh, she gets the turny tool then. But there's no sticks to go with the tool. I've got, You've got there's the a stick. stick. There you there's go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Which one is it? Which one have you got? Yeah, but the end of the thing's not sewn, is it? So it's a bit difficult to do it with a turny tool. Yeah, maybe do it the other way when you're having a go. Do what? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the wadding, the H640s. Oh, they go, oh, yeah, 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 go and go, 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 go. There you go, I'm through. There you go, you can let's have a go. I'll finish that one then. It's, if you haven't got a, a turning tool, you need a turning tool. Yeah, they or if you so either get the turning tool, are they in stock? They're in stock. No, they're stuck at the moment. So, what you need to do is do it the other way and top stitch it. Yeah. They will be coming back, the turning tools. Well, the thing is, when they come in, I bet they fly out. They fly they? out. Because they are just such a handy thing to have. Yeah. But I have to say, it does make a very nice, soft, Ooh. sturdy strap. I do quite <laughs> like it. Okay, there we I'm go. I'm going to top go. stitch down the edge of the strap. Again, it, it just adds strength, doesn't it? Thank you, Jock. Thank you, Bob. Come. So is the book sold out, Han? Oh, you're being annoying, she says. <laughs> so just the odd one or two. Okay, so tap. Okay, there's now 50 people in baskets and 10 people, 10 books left. First come, first serve now. Should be 16.99, remember. 16.99 is where this book should be. Launched. Today, fourteen ninety nine. dollars uh, 10 left, 10 left, but 50 people in baskets. It's up to you now. Because 40 of you are going to miss out. Oh, sorry. I thought I shot too quickly. There you go. And we've only got a few minutes left. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. No, you can carry, carry on. You're right. right. You've got to do four minutes, yeah. Four minutes, all right. Well, you see, it's not as it's nice, quick make. Yeah. See what our spacing is for your handles because you're going to pop them on. You're going to have oh, they go inside the inside, so they the, go yeah. in, and then you've got your lining. And you because she's got other things, you don't top. like that. She's got other patterns where you stitch them onto the outside, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's what's nice. It sort of is all the different options, mm. isn't it? She tells you how many inches to mark it in four inches. What, from the side seam? From the side seam, yeah. And obviously you can make straps longer or shorter, depending what suits you. Yeah. Yeah, you could stitch uh, ready-made ones on, couldn't you? Yeah, we Wanted had those it? yesterday in the bag handling hour. No, not the bag handling. Bag <laughs> hardware. The bag <laughs> hardware hour. So when you're putting them on like this, put them on the... So it's right sides together. And then when it flips up, you won't see the seam. Yeah. Side to 
match. Now I tend to tack these in place to hold them while, and then when you put your lining in, when you bag it all out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, they're yeah. like extra secure. They're not going to move around basically. No, 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 but that's why it's important. Oh, look, it looks gorgeous it's, in the gold. It's really and nice it's, colours, isn't it? Um, no, no, it's important to tack it because if you stitch it and they do move, yeah. you don't tack it. There's nothing worse than finishing your bag and then one handle's on an angle. Exactly. Yes. So I'm not going to stitch no, no, it because no, so I haven't what? put my lining together. No, that's fine. But you put it inside your lining, go all the way around the top, pull it, you leave, leave a little hole in your lining, pull it through, use your bagging out and you're going to top stitch around to make it neat. But you can see what the pocket looks oh, like. Oh, that really one's nice, really nice. nice. That, I thought the pink one's going to be my favourite. I actually like that one. Right, OK, so that bundle is 23 99 You don't get the book, but you do get three metres of fabric. You get a metre and a half of the naturally seeded. You get one metre of the corn sunshine and half a metre of your Scandi canvas, 23 99 The blue version, you get a metre and a half of the navy blue, a metre of the copen, and half a metre of your blue floral. Half a metre of that there. It's not here, it's never arrived. $23.99. Or we have the pink version, which I love. So you get your one and a half metres of azalea. You get one metre of your rose and half a metre of your eau de belle. $23.99. Uh, I'll just tell you once more, you need to check out on your book. There's... Uh, 8640, and there's the book. There's the book. Check out, check out, check out. There's so few left now. And so many in baskets. No. Then uh, we've got the 8640. Now this is the metre piece. This is the more affordable way of getting it. Because it's 5 99 for half a metre normally, which means that would be £12. We've done it for £10. Beautiful. And then we've got the interfacing, iron-on interfacing, which is 3 99 when are you next then, Catherine? I think I'm here. I think it's the 27th of March. Is that a Friday? It's this month? Yeah. I think it's, <laughs> it's a Friday at the end of the month I'm in. OK. I think it's the 27th, around then. Uh, so, but you'll be have to bring your dress back. Oh, Good Friday. Oh, I'm in that day. Yeah, it's Good Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's Good Friday, because then the next day is the day the clocks go forward. And right. then I'm in on the Sunday as well, so I lose my hour's sleep as well. So I'm doing Good Friday and Easter, Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday. Excellent. And then Rebecca reads in on Easter Monday. We can have hot cross buns. We could. Three ninety nine. Uh, congratulations on your sellout today. Thank you. Uh, you're at Sewing for Pleasure. I sure am. All of next week. If you want to go to one of Catherine's classes, you have to get book on the NEC. You do, yes. Go to the NEC thingy. There's lots of things happening up there at the moment because there's crufts on at the moment. So make sure you click on the right one. Otherwise, you'll see Catherine with the dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, so thank you very much indeed. Don't go anywhere. I'm back in four minutes' time with Overlockers and John Scott's Threads of Life. <laughs> Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. 
You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street.
Now, I know this hour is over lockers, but today's the last day uh, that you can get from, uh, from Sewing Street, the John Scott Threads of Life. So I just thought I'd give it, I'd give you, if you haven't seen what it is, or you're thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? It's not under there. Shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? Sorry, Kat's just looking for the silver dress. We can't find the silver dress. Um, it was on the desk just here by the fabrics, Cat, when we did that, when I bundled up the fabrics on the dress hour. Anyway, anyway, so... The, what we'll do is, if you haven't heard of it before, you don't know anything for, I've got a, a, one video that I'm going to show you first of all, which is like the introduction to what the actual show is and what you're buying. Let me just explain something, right? It's £99.99 £99 for a 12-month subscription. Three-way split pay. Now, I can't offer you three-way split pay if you buy it from me d directly, which is why so many have gone here, because every, a lot of people have taken advantage of the split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. You pay 33 33 today, 33 33 next month, 33 33 the next month. But you get 12 months' worth of stuff. So it's all paid for. But how it works is if you buy it today... At midnight tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or if you've bought other things, it might take a couple of days, Daniel, who's my business partner and the producer and director of the show, he gets an email from our, our customer service team saying these people have bought it. He will then email you with your password, your link of where to go. You can change your password. So you get one of those funny TZ... W, big three, or you get one of those for the first time you log in, but then you can change it to your favourite password after that. And then what happens is he will also send you the link to either your Android or your Apple app. You see, so you can, because because what it, it, well, I'll let you watch this first of all, and then anything that this doesn't explain, I'll explain to you afterwards. Welcome to John Scott's Threads of Life, my exciting video platform and online community that is already being enjoyed by thousands of happy members. When you sign up, you'll be able to enjoy hours and hours of exclusive TV shows covering everything from sew masterclasses and designer interviews to my fascinating life story and candid celebrity chats. Over the course of your 12-month membership, you'll be able to indulge in over 100 hours of fabulous video content that you can watch on demand when and where you want, either on your PC or via a free members app for mobile and tablet devices. Not only that, but you'll have access to a safe and inviting community forum where you can chat with myself and other like-minded members about anything that's on your mind. There's so much on offer when you become a member, so don't wait. Sign up today and join me on this exciting journey of John Scott's Threads of Life. So now Ollie's just asked a, a very important question. Do, uh, do I have to tune in live to watch the shows? No, you don't. Where, if you remember during lockdown, I did something, not a similar, a smaller version of this, where it was a live show once a week. This, you can watch them on your app, on your iPad, on your uh, phone, on your computer, you can cast it to your telly. That's me casting it to my... It has to be a smart telly, doesn't it? Cast it to your smart telly, right? So you can watch whenever you want. And you can watch them as often as you want. So some people say, oh, I couldn't sleep last night, so I thought I'd just watch Johnny. He'll send me off to sleep and things like that. So it's always there. You can even download them. So if you're going on an aeroplane or if you're going to be somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi, you can... You can watch them because you've downloaded them to your to your um, device and everything like that. So you can watch whenever you want, right? Now, what how it works is each week, Monday at the moment, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So in your you'll get you're going to get at least 120 shows right over the year. Works out, Ollie. What do you work out? At? Two, less than two pounds. How many? 27p a day. Is that right? Do you know what I mean? That. Uh, uh, but also, a, a coffee, cof, a cof, a cof, how much does a cup of coffee cost you? All, all that sort of thing. So you're going to get at least 120 shows. Some of them last half an hour, some of them last an hour, some of them last over an hour. Um, I'll, go through, I'll, I'll do the shows in a minute. But what I was going to say was you can watch them at any time you like, right? Any time you want, you can download them. Um, I was going to say something very important there. But anyway, 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 um, have a look at the next film. And that will remind me of what I was going to say to you. Oh, hang on, she's going to start here. Every week, you'll be able to enjoy brand new shows released every Monday, Wednesday and Friday that you can watch on demand at a time that suits you. And here's just a small flavour of what you can expect. The Sewing Surgery is your weekly destination for in-depth tutorials and masterclasses as I'm joined by some of the most talented guest experts to cover everything from dressmaking and patchwork to quilting and toy making. 
John Scott's Life Story is an intimate one-on-one -on -one interview series where every month we chronologically delve into my six-decade journey with never-before-seen photos and stories. Meet the Designer is the show where I travel the length and breadth of the country to sit down with some of your favourite faces. Loose Threads is our weekly topical talk show where I'm joined on the sofa by a panel of fabulous guests as we let our hair down and tackle some of the lighter stories making the headlines with a few laughs along the way. Behind the Scenes offers you a monthly front row seat as you get the chance to follow me for the day to see what happens in front of and behind the cameras. Join me on the red carpet in the A-list where I serve up big name celebrity interviews for candid chats with stars of stage and screen. Dr. Max Surgery is your go-to show for any medical questions and dilemmas as we take your calls and tackle your emails to offer free and independent advice. We'll be hosting live sew-alongs where you'll be able to join in from home, share your makes and ask any questions as we get crafty together. Plus, you'll receive an exclusive invite to a members-only live chat where every month we'll get together for a good old catch-up and put the world to rights. So don't miss out. There's so many amazing shows available when you become a member of John Scott's Threads of Life. That's what I was going to tell you about, what shows are coming up, but I didn't need to, it was all on that film. But on top of all that, uh, Daniel's just built a kitchen in the studios. So we're going to do Francesca's Italian kitchen. So she's going to be making all the food that she makes, for, like tomorrow, I'm going to her house tomorrow. All the Italian food that she makes for me, she's going to show you how to make. We're going to have a baker, a resident baker, who's going to do cake baking all the time and everything. So that's all to come. And we've got all different ideas for other shows coming up as well. So it is a fantastic, fantastic thing. Now, like like I say, you can watch it wherever you want, whenever you want. Now, if you look here on my computer, this is my, this is the um, app here, right? So just click on here. That's the calendar. There's the calendar. Let me just go to browse here. This is all the shows, right? This is the shows. That, these are the shows, the latest shows, but they're all listed here. So you can see John Scott's Life Story, the Meet the Designers. Look, we've already got Wendy Orlando, uh, Tara... Uh, Lara Sparks, uh, Mandy Shaw. These are the sewing surgeries that are already there. These are the loose threads that are all already there. And then that's the, we've done a behind the scenes. We've done two A-lists. Look, there's Cheryl from Bucks Fizz and there's Julie P's good Good thing. These are things to come. Now, the first sew along is on March the 21st. So if you join, it's with Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie, right? So it could be live. Right? And you'll be able to join in. We're going to have four people at home towing along at the same time. And you'll be able to message your questions. And we're going to make something live, live on air, and you can all join in. And if, no, no, and so it's already on here what you need to buy. So the first, not here, but on the community, it's already told you. Now, the very first one's going to be a very, very easy project. You don't need to buy a kit or anything. You just need two half metres of fabric, a zip and some thread or something like that. Stuff you've already got in your stash. It's a stash buster and things like that. So we've definitely got that. But then, you see, there's also, along here, there's the community. I'm not going to press community because I can see I've got a message, right? But that's a very, very safe place where you can chat to each other. You can share, you can share messages and things like that. Now, if you go into it in your computer, this is the app, right? Hannah's got the computer on her, on her computer. Let me, give, let me show you the calendar, right? So that she, she's not a member, so she can't sign in, but she can see, if you go to calendar, look at the dates, right? Today's the 8th, isn't it? So at 2 o'clock today, the Sarah Brangwin Meet the Designer show launches. You can watch that this evening, you can watch that next week, you can watch it in June, you can watch it in August, you can watch it in December. And then this is the rest of March here, look. So these are all the shows coming up in March. You see, so there, so you can already plan. That, we'll say this again. Got, there you go, Overlocker Overview, uh, full bust adjustment there. We've got the uh, next episode of John Scott's Life Story coming up. Uh, oh, that's a behind the scenes, not there. And so it's got everything. And now, the reason some of them aren't listed, if you go along a little bit further. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, no, next month, the following month. We haven't filmed all those yet. So there's April. Is that April you're in now? That, so there's April, right? Now, if you go down, you see there's Jenny Jackson in April. Sewing sur right, that sewing surgery and those new threads have yet to be filmed, you see. So you see that they will be very, very current because they have yet to be filmed. So we're filming as we're going along the whole time. But you can see on your schedule what you want to see. But, but it all comes to you. The thing is, the other thing that's about it is, what we didn't want to do is when I did the live show, if we then had a guest that you go, oh, I don't like her, 
you didn't, you had to sit through it to get to the next bit. This way, you can pick and choose and you can watch them over and over and over again. So uh, Rebecca Harrison did this week, she did fitting a toile on a, on, a, on a mannequin. People have gone backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. This is what you get for your money, right? So you get a 12 month membership, which excludes new video content every week. But when Hayley read that, she thought you got one video a week. You get at least three a week. Some days you get two on the same day. Some days, you'll see on your calendar, some days you get two on the same day. Then you also get exclusive live stream. Right, the live stream is once a month, like you just saw there me in my uh, office with my checkered shirt on. We're going to do it at different days in the month at different times, so everybody can join live if they want to. But it will go on the website, so you can still watch it and everything. You've got an exclusive online community, you've got exclusive competitions, and you've got an app for Apple and for Android devices. Now, when we first launched, the Apple one worked straight away. The Android one was a bit, wasn't our fault, it was their fault. We've had an apology from them and everything. So, it's now available for Apple and Android. Have a look at this slide, right? This is just what a few of the people have said. Anne said, I'm absolutely loving John Scott's Threads of Life. The hard work John, Dan and the rest of the team have put in is appreciated by all the fans. You are onto a winner, well done. Sharon says, John, so happy to join you. You give us so much. It's nice to be able to support you and get more of you in return. Christine says, I just love, I just love all you do so, look so much, John Scott. And I love the idea of learning more and more with your life skills and knowledge. And then Molly says, congratulations, John. And thank you for starting this. We are in great need of sharing our love of sewing and life. Very quickly now, I'm not going to go on, but if you want to have a look at this now, this is some of, the, I have to talk over this one. There's no music on this one. This is some of the designers or some of the features that you're going to see. Look, there's Delphine. That's us chat. We only did film that last week. Lisa Lamb in a lovely house in, uh, in Brighton. Then Mark Francis. We did that last week. Uh, who else? Wendy Orlando. Wendy Orlando's already out. We went to Wendy's house. Then Adam. You see, you haven't seen Adam's yet. We filmed him last week. Uh, there's Mandy Shaw. She was week one. They're, everyone loved her story. Hayley West, look, with a whole cupboard of gin. A whole cupboard of gin. Fiona Hesford, look. Uh, went to her lovely studio. Liz from uh, Long Arm Quilters, Pinhole Quilters. Jenny Jackson. These are just a few of the people you're going to see. And then you won't know Claire. Claire used to be a prima ballerina and she now makes it. Jules, you know Jules Fallon. Uh, oh, we went, and Sarah's today. That one goes out at two o'clock today. And oh, and there's Lara Spot. She's gorgeous. She does. She's already there. Uh, Sussex Seamstress. Jane, the Sussex Seamstress. You see, and then Clive. Oh, you'll know Clive, don't you? So all of those are already in the can. We've got more and more and more. We'll be, do we'll be doing um, Catherine soon and everything like that. Susie, we're going to do Susie soon and everything. Um, Janet Clare, we're going to do her soon as well. So it's, there's lots and lots and lots to come. Um, I've got a message on my bottom very quickly. Uh, love, Freds of Life, John. Uh, first time I've joined anything like this. Really interesting and easy to use. Thanks from Lynn in Oxfordshire. Thank you, Lynn. And that's a, one of the people who subscribed. Now... You can get it on split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. Pay 33 33 today. Same again next month. Same month. 12 months. And don't worry that you've joined today because we've been going for a month. You get all the shows, all the shows that have already gone, you get those as well. So you've already got a backlog of a month of, because we started on the 5th of February, didn't we? So it's a month. One month's worth. You've still got all of these shows to watch. Look. The sewing surgeries are all like proper, the six of them there already. Any time you like, you can revisit those. Any time. So if you, even if you're in the middle of sewing thinking, oh, Rebecca Harrison or Joe Carter, because Joe Carter's done a few. Joe Carter does that on hers. I'll just go and check what she says about that. All, all for £99. I know. Uh, that's it. That's all. I'm going to stop now. But after tonight, after tonight, it won't be on the Sewing Street website anymore. Just so you know, that it'll be taken off the Sewing Street website after tonight. Oh, if you buy it today. Right, I've, I'll explain that again. No, I've just, I've just said that, just said that. So what happens is, if you, oh yes, no, that's fine. If you buy it today, right, what will happen is uh, either midnight tonight or sometime, oh, what day of the week is it? Right, it might be a couple of days because it's the weekend, isn't it? Daniel, who's the, my business partner, pr producer, director, he makes all the shows and everything, um, he will get an e... So, we need your email address. When you buy it, if you buy, if you buy it on the website, then we'll have your email address. But if you buy it on the phone, make sure you give them your email address. What will happen is, he will get an e... He will send you an email. He... But no, I'll start again. He will get an email from our call centre saying, Hannah McCabe has bought it, right? He, this is her email address, right? 
He will then email Hannah saying, welcome, Hannah. This is your password to get into the site. You then go to threadsoflife.tv and you put in the password that he's given you. You can then go in and change it to one that Hannah will put, Steph is my boyfriend. That's her, her code. That's her, her password for everything, if you need to get into anything first, right? She will change it to that. Then what it's time, every time you go to the website, you either log it. Mine doesn't log me out. Mine keeps me in the whole time. He will also send you a link to the app, either the Android app or the Apple app. Now, you can go to the Apple Store and just get it, but what will happen is if you haven't got his link, it might ask you to pay, and we don't want you to pay that because you've already paid for it, do you know what I mean? Because what you can do is go to the app and, and buy it on the app, but we don't want you to do that. We don't want you to do that. We want you to do it the safe way via, via Sony Street or direct from us and things like that. So you will get then get your sign in and then that's it. You can get in whenever, wherever. If you're at the football with the kids on a Saturday, if you're on the train, if you're on an aeroplane, you can download it, everything. Also, there's a re if you get stuck on anything, Daniel's always at the other end of this email address. <coughs> Sorry. Hello at threadsoflife.tv. Hello at threadsoflife.tv. And he, uh, uh, somebody messaged me the other day going, oh, I'm a bit confused by this. So I said, email Daniel. She then messaged me back about 10 minutes later going, he sorted it. He's brilliant like that. He's, he's on the ball. He's totally utter on the ball. And he does all the editing and he does all the filming and everything. He does everything. He's, all I have to do is turn up and shout. Um, so there, so that's it. So thank you very much, everyone who has joined. I mean, thousands of you have joined already. I was, the day we launched it here, I was so shocked. So shocked. Say that again. Uh, sorry, Ollie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can download them. So, yeah, if you're on a long coach journey. Mind you, coaches sometimes have Wi-Fi, don't they? But you can go on an aeroplane that hasn't got Wi-Fi. Go on a beach where there might not be Wi-Fi. You can download them all before. And sit. And you can download everything and take it on a long... If you're flying to Australia... Flying to Australia, could keep, or, or Austria. It's not quite as long a flight to Austria. But you know what I mean? If you go on a long flight, you can download as many as you want. It's as, and we're adding new things, like I said. Oh, and also, just in case you're thinking, oh, but are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving Sun Street. I am doing it. We wouldn't be allowed to sell it here, would we? If, if Scott and the team were against it or anything, they love it. They love. But the fact that we don't launch any shows until after two o'clock in the afternoon, so it never, ever, ever... And we don't sell anything. We're not selling anything. Eventually, just so you know, eventually we will sell the mugs. I, I forgot to bring it in. Daniel will go mad because I didn't bring the mug in with me. We will be selling the mugs and badges at some point. Oh, badge ladies, Simon, we will be doing badges at some point. But the badges we ordered were about that big and they're not very good, so we'll have to find some new ones. But, so we, but we'll never, ever, ever sell anything. We're not, we're not in competition with Sewing Street. We're running... Walk it, we're running we're coming in to interview Steve Bennett at one day. Do you know what I mean? We've already interviewed Lynn Jinks, you know, off Gems TV. She's already, she's already been interviewed and everything. So it's kind of like, there's a lot. We, I love John's platform. It's been brilliant so far. I've learned lots. It's very entertaining too. Kate in Merseyside. Thank you, Kate, my love. Uh, it's a community and it really is a community. And also what I love about it is a couple of people have gone, oh, I didn't like that one. Do you know what I mean? Kind of, the people are totally honest about it. Oh, it's a bit disappointed with that one, John. Do you know what I mean? But that's good because we'll learn. And then we'll go on and we'll fill, we'll fill that space later on in the year. Because we've, uh, we, no, we were supposed to be doing pottery last week. And with this gorgeous potter, and he wasn't very, he was poorly on the day. And he was gutted that he couldn't come in. But when we, when we, uh, if, uh, well, if we can find a potter near Warrington, we'll do that. Or when we come back up to Stratford Avon, we'll do it then. All right, so I'll stop talking now. So it's supposed to be an overlocker hour. Thank you ever so much, everyone who has checked out. If you do want to get this from Sewing Street and use the split, or just get it. It's not going to be on Sewing Street after midnight tonight. Or it might be up at seven tomorrow morning. Oh, Mr. John, my bottom. John, where is the mug? Oh, it's Daniel. Cheshire. Daniel in Cheshire. It's Warrington in Cheshire. I know, I know, Daniel. I have to remember everything else. I knew he'd go mad. As soon as I got here this morning, I was like, oh, no. I haven't even got a proper mug. I've already got a paper cup today as well. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, oh, you'll go mad by that. Mind you, you didn't send any balloons today. Remember the balloons at the launch? They were Daniels as well. I, I've still got them in my garage now. They're a bit like that. Uh. But anyway, check out, check out, check out. Uh, last day, it's going to be on uh, going to be on Sane Street. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. It'll always be available from us. You can always come in and get it in on, on, from us. But, but just, just um, last time, it's going to be today. So uh, I'm going to move on now because I've got to go to Overlockers. So uh, thank you, everyone, who's checked out, though. I'm very, very touched by you all. Right. 
Right, so overlockers. Now, when we, they first asked me to do this, I'm just going to get rid of these mats because I'm too tall otherwise. Uh, when they first asked me to do this, I said, you can't mix all the different brands and everything like that. Anyway, it works, it does. So what we do is we go from the most affordable through to the most expensive. And I don't want to call it expensive, but the one that you're going to spend more money on, which makes it more expensive, doesn't it? Right, so I'm going to start with the Britannia, which is this one here. Here we go. So now this one is the one that George brought you. Lovely George. Oh, George, he's having a baby. Well, he's not. He's not. His girlfriend's having a baby. Sorry, shall I get there? If I do that to Cat, then it'll be better. Uh, look at the price. Look at the price. And look at the split pay. It shouldn't be on three weeks. Uh, so you're going to pay £100. You're going to pay £100 today to get this home. Uh, what day did he launch this one? Eighth of September. Go and look at YouTube. Eighth of September. Now, don't. It says he's on at like either ten o'clock or eleven o'clock. You need to fast forward about half an hour before he comes on because it was one of those days where they did that weird half ten, half eleven, all that sort of thing, and it didn't quite get make it to the menu, or whatever. Um, you also get seventy-two pounds worth of thread with this one. That comes from. This comes directly from. Uh, Franklin's. Uh, it's a really, really, really good value for money. This one opens up. Oh, this is the one with the. F this is the one with the. Isn't this the one with the free arm? I can never get it on. Let me just turn it around a second. Here, here we go. Look, look. So uh, the only one with the free arm that we've got. So if you want to do trouser legs or sleeves or cuffs or anything like that, you've got your free arm there. It also opens up completely here. Let me just. Oh, hang on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Easy to thread, it opens up like that so you can get inside, do all your threading. For some reason, that one looks simpler than most, doesn't it? So if you've never, ever, ever had an overlocker before and you want your very, very first entry-level overlocker, this is a brilliant one to have. You've got the, the, the um, backup of Franklin's, so you can ring Gary or you can ring George or one of the team if you've got any issues whatsoever. Now these come from, do these come from us? Are these in our warehouse? Or they come from where, um, I think these come from Franklin's warehouse, the Britannia ones. Uh, whatever, you'll get, you've all, you're covered by the, by, by the um, yeah, they drop, they, they come straight from Franklin. So they'll be, ch so they'll get an email at midnight tonight, the same as Daniel will. Oh, okay, so today's stock has sold out of those. George is coming back, George is coming back very soon. Do you know what day he's in? Oh, this Tuesday. Oh, it's me. Oh, so I'll be, oh, I'll be on with George on Tuesday. Be able to question him about his baby and his car and everything, won't we? He won't have a suntan, none of that holiday every other week. Is there? Oh, actually, if he's in on Tuesday, won't he also be at home for pleasure? Because that's on on Thursday. Maybe that's why he's up. So he'll set up for pleasure on Wednesday and be at the show. I'm presuming. I'm presuming. Anyway, I can't show you that one anymore because today's stock has sold out. We then move on to... Is this one next? The Amber Husqvarna. Is that the next one? Or do we go to an Elna next? <coughs> I thought so. Yeah, the Elna 664. It's this one over here. It's this one over here. Okay, let me just put that one in shot there. I'll just give this one to Kat because that one's sold out. There we go. Right, so now this one and the Pro are our best-selling overlocking machines, aren't they, these two here? This is the 664. That's yours. Right, so this is your price. Look at the price. £339. Beyond split pay in a second. Oh, no. Look at the split. Who is it? <coughs> Who is it that's not doing this? Um, no, Hannah doesn't have access. She's not allowed to do that, even though Cat is. Producer Cat is. But Hannah isn't allowed access to anything like this, right? Um, here we go. Look, look, look. No, 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 no. Because a producer cat came in here to produce on one day and she suddenly went, oh, do you know what I'm going to put? And she changed the split. Hey, we're not allowed to do that. Anyway, look how this opens. This is so easy to thread. So when I had my first overlock, actually, actually, I bought my overlocker from Franklin's. My very, very first overlocker, not the one I've got now, the one I've got now is from here, but, uh, well, sewing quarter, but, um, no, no, here, it was here, wasn't it? Um, the one that Hannah's got was from sewing quarter that she's still got, she hasn't given it back. 
Uh, so I was working at the Mercury Theatre in Colchester, needed an overlocker. Admittedly, it was a, an industrial one. Bought it from Franklin's, who are the who are George's grandpa, George's grandparents. No, yeah, uh, George's dad. Yeah, George's grandparents. So I used to go to the Franklin's in Colchester when I worked at Mercury Theatre in Colchester. Lovely little haberdasher shop. They're gorgeous. Really, really, really uh, looked after us the whole time and everything. So I bought. And could I thread it up? Could I thread it up? No, I could not thread it up. So, when I first saw this, when I first saw this, right, the way this is threaded up, it's so easy compared to that one. And I know lots of you, I tell you what you should do. When you get it home, you should um, read your brochure, read your brochure, look through, look through it, because this is obviously an Elna one, this one. Uh, th so these are in, in the uh, warehouse in Elna. They're ready to be shipped out to you. We now have two ambassadors in our workroom. So if you have any issues whatsoever, but what I would do is I would read the manual, have a cup of tea and everything, then look at the uh, how you thread it and everything. Because Jane told me earlier the other day that this, this is one of the easiest machines to get into because you can release your lower looper from in here to thread your lower loop as well. I didn't know that. It's because I haven't read the brochure. Anyway, so for three hundred and thirty-nine pounds, uh, three a five-way split pay, five-way split pay, no interest charge whatsoever, and we don't charge you for the joy of using split pay. I know it's uh, unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I think no, no. We've realised now this works. When we first started, we said we're never going to mix brands, not mixing brands. But actually, this way you can see everything that we've got on offer. So it's not just, oh, it's an Elna show, or it's a Juki show, or it's a Britannia show, or a Husqvarna show. You are seeing every overlocker of every price range that we supply. So this is a, but this is a really, really good price. Remember, it comes with a two-year warranty. It comes directly from Elna in Stockport. You can call our customer service team. Thank you for that, Anne. <laughs> We, we have two ambassadors in our workroom, uh, well, our workroom, our um, call centre upstairs. But if they can't answer your questions, then they'll either put you in touch with Elna or they'll get the answer for you. Can we just see that slide again? Right, so what you get with it is you get your needle set, your needle threader, your lint brush, your oil tube, your spool cap, your screwdriver, smart, large and small, your tweezers, your foot controller and your dust cover. All of that comes as standard. At £339, five-way split pay. I know. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price. Now, if you're thinking, that's lovely, John, but I want something a little bit more than that. I'll just give that one over to Kat over here. This next one is our best-selling. Best, 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 best-selling um, overlocker. It's the next stage up from the 664. It's the 664 Pro. Now, this one comes with a Goblins box on the front here. Uh, and again, inside, you can open it all the way up there to see inside. Now, this sells well at £559. For some reason, it's five-way split pay again, Hannah, remember? But watch this. So it's less than £100 on split pay. Five-way split pay, less than £100. So you, all you need to do is budget £100, £100 today and then £100 for the next four months after that. I oh, know, it's brilliant, £100. Now, we've got a couple of slides and I'll take you through the whole machine. So, uh, I love this one. What better friend can you have than the Elna 664 Pro? Neatly cutting and hemming, so I'm not gonna read all that, you can read that out. I'll do the bottom bit though. Color-coded threaded guide, I'll show you that in a minute. Tilting needle clamp, which is brilliant, I'll show you that in a second. Self-threading lower looper, which means you can pull the lower looper out to thread it. Program reference panel, adjustable differential feed, and a dozen two, three, or four stitch selections. The Elna 664 Pro is a brilliant collection of accessories, and the best part of that, Elna offers a two-year parts and labor warranty guarantee guarantee so there's all the bits and bobs you get with it right beautiful at 479 pounds now let me explain what what they what, what they're showing you there the different stitches but you can see all of these here all of these here are all your different stitches what you can do is you see the dial here 
you can choose which stitch you want, right? So let's stitch, choose stitch number five. It tells you all about your needles, all about your tensions, where you need your differential feed to be, where you need your stitch length to be, and things like that. If you don't know what those stitches are, you can look either on your um, little um, flap that comes down here or in your brochure to see what it, like, there's all the, there's the 12 different stitches there. Right, so automatically, all of this information is in your brochure as well. Right, all of that is in your brochure, but this is your quick guide to get to it where you just need to, where you need to put anything at all. So actually, if we show that, they are the 12 different stitches there. So you've got your safety four thread, your stretch knit, your gathering, because everyone thinks they're just a machine just to finish off your edges, but it's not, is it? You've got gathering, stretch wrapped, you've got thread wide, you've got overlock three, you've got narrow hem, you've got rolled hem three and two. The numbers are how many needles you need in, um, and then the, uh, not needles, threads you need, and then the the overcast is two and the flat lock is three and two but it's got a list of them underneath where, you, where you've got that thing where you choose them from but you've got your guide to get there now what I also want to show you is this right when you're threading it right this one doesn't have a needle threader and you're kind of thinking oh but if you look in here hang on I can't see it now there's a little red button here can you see there there's a little red button if you press that little red button I've got to try and do this look no, don't look at me, look at it. The needles come up. The needles come up. So when you thread it, the needles are easily accessed. Th put your thread and you push the button back in and you push them back down. It won't let you sew with them up. It won't, it won't suddenly start going or anything like that. The one good thing about all of these is when you, um, as soon as you open the fronts of these machines, the pedal stops working. I always switch mine off just as a double safety check and everything but if you've got your uh, fronts of these open the, the pedal won't work the foot pedal will not work so you're safe like that but or i always just switch them off as an extra safety uh, safety guard um i can't believe this is 479 pounds under a hundred pounds under a hundred pounds uh, each month that you pay uh, really easy to thread up again really reliable two-year warranty and uh, was there anything else on that slide I missed off? I don't think there was, was there? Uh, yeah, can you disengage the blade? Yes, you can disengage the blade. In fact, I think this one comes with a spare blade, doesn't it? Yeah, number 12, upper blade, comes with a spare blade, right? So when you're stitching, you don't need pins anywhere near an overlocker. Don't have your pins, but occasionally one can get caught, can't it, you see? So don't, if you do go over it, it's gonna damage your, damage your blade, definitely, but could damage your machines. Keep your pins well away from it. But if you do run over a pin, what you'd normally have to do is then get in touch with Elle, they'll say, oh, I need to buy a new blade. They'll go, oh, yeah, we'll put one in the post for you today. You won't be able to finish your project for a few days, will you? Whereas if you've got a spare blade, literally you can swap the blade over. You can disengage the blade, so you don't, if you don't want it to cut at all, it doesn't have to cut. It comes with needles comes with needles as well. So the minute this arrives, please don't leave it. Please don't leave it in a box for three months like so many of you do do. What I would also suggest is that your looper threads at the back, oh, these are a mess here, but you, you get four threads on the back. Your looper threads run out much quicker than your straight stitch threads. So what I would do is keep swapping those two with those two and then they'll run out evenly because what you don't want to do is run out of those two completely and just be ended up with two there. Uh, Fifu here, great machine. I've got lots, I have lots, of, loads of new sewing ideas. Anyway, 479 pounds. Right, okay, now I've just been told off. I've just been told off, right? Because I was so excited about doing this machine, I forgot to do the Husqvarna. And the Husqvarna should have gone in between those two because I was doing it price wise, wasn't I? I was doing it price wise. So, I, she didn't tell me off quietly, she just shouted at me. Anyway, let me do this one, let me do this one. No, 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 it's fine, fine, fine. I'm going to keep this one here, Kat, just in case I read, but go that one. Now, here is your Husqvarna, £399. Now, you do get £49 worth of thread with this one. I think it's that black, the black, yeah, the black and white one, which I've got for sale as well in this hour if you want it. Right, this comes with these, right? This comes with these threads, the overlocking threads, in the black, the white, and the grey. You won't need anything else unless it's an obvious one. Now, what day was this one launched? Twenty eighth of October. This one. It'll be. This will be a Haley West launch. This one. 
Oh, the packet isn't that one. It is, and the picture. Oh, is the picture wrong? Oh, OK, OK, I'll get rid of that then. It's not that thread. It, 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 somebody's put the wrong picture. Yeah, yeah, somebody's put the wrong picture on the thing. Anyway, anyway, what you get on here is, again, this opens out completely so you can thread it. Please go and watch, uh, please go and watch Hayley. Please go and watch uh, Hayley uh, with this on the show. Beautiful. £399. Pounds. Um, uh, what was I going to say? And you get your free threads for £49. Pounds. Right, I don't think... Right, I think what it is, is I don't think the threads are £49. Pounds. I think what it is, is they took some money off and the threads are the 49 I can't remember. I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, it's a really good deal. Watch Hayley doing it. I don't know. Uh, uh, all I know is Hayley raves about it. And when she launched it, so many of these sold. Um, now, th that should come off there, shouldn't it? I don't know if I have to press the button. You should be able to open that back bit up as well there. But I, 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 I'm being straightforward with you. I don't know enough about this one. It has got a hinge on it, but for some reason, I can't get it to open for some reason. Um, anyway... Cat's looking, do I need to press a button? Oh! What hinge and a half, that one, is it? Flipping heck, look. My word, that's amazing. To get right in there, so there's no need to worry about not finding your lower loopers on there, because you get everything in there. £399, that one is. That's on a three-way split, £133 a month. If, you love, if you've got a Husqvarna sewing machine, embroidery machine, you know what they're going to be like. You know the, what the quality's like. So you're happy. You're happy with Husqvarna. Then this is a brilliant, brilliant buy. I know. Really, really good price, that. Really good price. Right, I'm going to move off from this table now and go on to this table. I'll leave those there for you, Kat. I'm going to go on to this table now, because this is the machine I have. It's this one next, isn't it? This is the machine I've got. Oh, remember if I had to plug it in, John? I have already checked this this morning. I've had this plugged in this morning. Right, oh, pardon. Okay, now I thought we'd been told that this was staying at this price. Obviously not. No, okay, that's fine. You do it. You do what you do. You you do you, Hannah. Yeah, you do you, my love. Go on then. You do you. Right. Uh, here you go. Uh, oh, she's just taking one hundred and forty pounds off for no reason. <coughs> it's not a birthday. It's not a special occasion. <coughs> Now, the reason I love this machine, right, is the threading is even easier. This is an air threader machine, this one. An air threader machine. Right, watch. So what you do on this one, to thread this one up, is the lower looper and the upper looper are threaded for you. What you do is you bring, you've always got to thread from this end. You must always thread from this end. So you go down here through the tension ga ga gauge and then you pop your thread about an inch or an inch and a half of your thread <coughs> into that hole. What you need to do to get ready is you turn the switch to there, you turn that switch to threading and then you turn this Right, until it locks. And what that's done is it has aligned all the tubes and everything like that. So then what you do is you lift this up, pop it down, it sucks in air from the side here. And it goes like that. And the thread goes right the way through and pops out over here. Then you get your tweezers and you just pull it out to the back. Then you thread the next one. So the next one goes up here through the tension gauge. Then you turn the switch to that one. You put the thread in there for an inch, an inch and a half. Do exactly the same. And that's your upper and your lower looper threaded. You just pull the threads to the back. Then what you do is you turn it back to sewing. So you can then move this again. And then these, you, you will be able to thread this quicker than your uh, normal sewing machine once you got used to it. This one just comes down here, goes along there, over there, down there, through the guide. And then you've even got a needle threader on this one. And you can change it to left-hand needle and right-hand needle. Right? It's fantastic. And then you literally close, close, and you're off. Cat bought me some fabric. There you go. 
message on the bottom. Here we go. Uh, I'd never owned an overlocker or used one since school, but got the 864. Oh, who's this? Car oh, Karen. Uh, I'm still learning, but it's brilliant. Worth every penny. Right, now, Karen, I can tell you, Karen has got a Juki sewing machine, an Elna overlocker, and an Elna sewing machine. So she, she flits between the two. Because I normally go, oh, if you're an Elna girl, you buy the Elna. If you're a Juki girl, you buy the Juki. But she flits between the two, and she loves this. She absolutely loves it. Well, she just told you how much she loves it. Uh, where's the pedal? That is... So, stitches beautifully. You get a spare blade on this one. So if you break the blade, you can do. You can disengage the blade if you want to. You can do gathering. I've got a slide, actually. I'll show you in a minute. You can do gathering. You can do pico hem and everything like that for perfect, perfect uh, uh, edge finish there. Uh, it's just brilliant. It's brilliant. Did you, have you got a slide, Dolly, for this one? Here you go. So you've got your thread guide with telescopic antennae system. You've got your color-coded thread marking. You've got your integrated dif differential feed. Your differential feed is how fast you take the top bit and the lower bit through. Stitch length dials for easy setting. Lower looper pretension setting slider. You've got your upper and lower looper selection, one push looper threader lever. You've got your cutting width adjusting dial. You've got your built-in two-thread converter. Yeah, because when you go to a two-thread, you have to put a little thing in. It's automatic on this one. Built-in needle threaders, five-level uh, presser foot pressure dial. Right? And then, here we go. This is the one, so the stitches it does at the bottom there. With the four threads, you've got overlock, stretch, decorative, overedging, and gathering. Three threads, you've got an overlock, regular and wide, rolled hem, narrow hem, pico hem, and flat lock and pin tuck. And then with the two threads, you've got a flat lock and rolled hem. Look at everything you get with this as well. You get your screwdrivers, your tweezers, your needle set, your spool caps, your oil tube, your spare upper blade, your double-ended wrench, your needle, you get oh, waist tray, foot controller, dust cover, you get everything with it. And it's a brilliant, brilliant machine. It comes with a two year warranty from Elna. They're sent to you directly from Elna. You will have this. If you buy this today, you'll have this by the middle of next week. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. And he's just, she's just, he, she's just taken off 140 pounds. She, the cat's mother, cat, hat, not cat, Hannah, has just taken off. And look, it's on five way split pay. So it's 200 and let's have a look. Let's see how much it is. £211.80. That's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant for a machine like that. There's loads in baskets. Loads in baskets. I've got this one. This is the one I've got. Yeah, this is the one I've got. I love it. I absolutely love it. £1,059. Right, I've only got a couple of minutes to show you about this one now because we're going up an edge now. Now, Kat, have you got to change my papers? We're on the trolley. This one I've got here is I've got the Juki MO2000QVP. Now, again, this is an air threader. This is an air threader machine. Um, this one's covered in dust. Gary will go mad when he sees this. Covered in dust there. So which one did I say it was? The 2000. Thank you, Cap. So this one is £1,499. Again, it's on five-way split pay. It's an air threader overlocker. Let me just show you two. Now, maybe, maybe you like Jenny Jackson, you only want Juki machines. That's absolutely fine, I don't mind. Obviously, it's a different price bracket because this one is £1,499. Um, it's kind of what they've done is they've taken the industrial sort of mechanics and put it in here. But this has loads and loads and loads of other things, right? So it's got threading with Easy Threader. Uh, you've got your international informational LCD screen on it. Oh, mine's not plugged in, but you've got your screen there with all your details on it. You've got very quiet operation. You've got an adjustable differential feed. Now, on this one, the distance between the needle and the knife is 9.95 millimetres, which that won't mean anything to you, but on a normal machine, on my machine, it's 15 and a half millimetres. So it means if you're doing curves and things like that, you can get a really beautiful inside curve. The lower looper converter, like I said, on the Elna is automatic. You've got a very wide throat area, you've got LED sewing light, and you've got your waste collector on here. You've also got your automatic rolled hemming, your adjustable presser foot pressure, Option to deactivate the upper knife, cutting width adjusting dial, safety feature preventing operation when the presser foot is in the up position or the cover is open, and a thread trimming blade on the side uh, to, to help you cut your thread and everything like that. 
£1,499 for you get to get your Juki air threader. Uh, five way, five way split pay again. Two hundred ninety nine pounds to get this home today, and then you've got to do two hundred ninety nine for four more months. You know, you know when Gary comes on or George comes on and shows these. You know what they did. They've been Gary's, but Gary would not be working Franklin's and with Juki for thirty over thirty years if he didn't think it was a good a good manufacturer, a good make. You know they're sturdy. You know they come with their warranty. You know that they're always there at the end of a phone call, and no question is a silly question. You've got to remember that. So do check out if you've got that in your basket. Right, Joe. Now, I've got a few other bits and bobs just to show you. Uh, I've got your Aerolock thread. If you're going to buy an overlocker, you have to buy this one. Oh, hang on. There you go. Oh. They will send me a new one, and then I have to break a box. I'm going to show you from, the, from here. You get four black. You get four black, four grey, four silver. Now, you get eight whites. You used to get four ivory and four white. You now get eight whites and you get four creams uh, for $79.99. That's, um, oh, how much that is? 24, so that's 24, 20, something like 28,800 metres of thread on there for $79.99. Now, the reason this is good for overlocking, don't use this in your sewing machine for normal stitching because you kind of think, it's not good for dressmaking, things like that, but the way it interlocks, it's very, it doesn't have much fluff on it, so it doesn't have much lint, and it's made, it's been created to work in conjunction with all the other threads within your overlocker. 28,800 metres. Oh, you can put that on any, you can put that on any overlocker. Any overlocker that will work with. You want to just have that really lovely overlocking thread. No, it's, I'm showing it from the top there. Kat thought I was showing the box upside down, but I'm showing, because uh, it's all sellotape down, didn't want to rip open another box. She said, John, your box upside, John, your box. Look, it is. If you look from there, it is. He's doing it again, but I'm showing you here. I'm showing you here. Right, and then also, if you want an overlocking mat, now you, all of these overlockers I've shown you today will all sit on this mat. This is your overlocking mat here. Do, have I not got that other box of threads? Then that one over there. Is that not on its own today? No, no, no. No, no, the one I put on side this morning was the one for swimwear and everything, you know, the brightly coloured one and everything. Right, so this is 14 99 uh, Even if you work in a workroom and you don't move your overlocker, this is brilliant because, first of all, it saves your table. It also spreads the weight of your overlocker because your overlocker is going to vibrate a lot. Also, if you work at night time or when, uh, when other people are in the house and you don't want to make a noise, this is brilliant. Dampens the noise down, looks after your table. And, uh, say this again. Oh, yeah, yeah. We also used to have one of these. We used to have, because uh, everyone's got wooden floors these days. Put it underneath the foot pedal, stop the foot pedal slipping as well. Because otherwise we were searching under the table for all the foot pedals and everything. Whereas this, if you want to, you can put your foot pedal on there as well. Uh, 14 99 So brilliant. No, no, but it's brilliant if you have got wooden floors in your workroom, which a lot of people have, haven't they? Because it's easier to brush up, like in a hairdresser. You wouldn't have carpet in a hairdresser, would you? 14 99 and then last but not least, I've got these overlocking threads here. Oh, have you not seen these before? We've, we've saw lots of these. There's 1,200 metres on each spool. 43.99, right? So you get four white, four grey, four black. So it's the same sort of thing. Well, it's the same as this, look. Same overlocking threads as this, but just not as many. So you've just got the three colours in this for 43.99. Brilliant. 43.99. 43.99. Right. Just if you've got, there's a, apparently, the, Hannah was just telling me, there's a few of the 664 Pros in baskets and there's a few of the Elna Air Threaders in baskets. The Britannia sold out. The Britannia sold out. Um, so if you've got it in your basket, now she's crashed the price. So remember at midnight, it goes back up. That's the Elna Air Thread. It should be £140 more than that. Right. And then the 664 Pro... Um, which she also, did you, that's one you also, did you crash the price on that one as well? She crashed the price on that one. Oh, talk of the devil, here's Hayley West. If I'd known she was in the building, I'd have got her to come on and talk to you about the overlocker. £479. Now, how much should that one be, Han? £559, that one should be. 
No, she's there now. She's there behind the camera. Oh, she's on Tone Cheek tomorrow as well. Let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. I just had your overlocker. I didn't know you were here. You could have come on. Anyway, here you go. So Hayley's on tomorrow. Is it Hayley on tomorrow then on Tone Street? Savings on pre-cut. She's got to eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, she's got fill it all bag with sang the chocolate chip cookie. Then at 10 o'clock, they've got the little house quilt designs. Then at 11 o'clock, isn't that Amanda Little's house? Yeah. But she's not, but she's not coming. Is she in or is it just doing her designs? Because she normally does a Sunday. It's not Sunday, is it tomorrow? Spring two block quilt with Sandy chocolate chip cookie at 11 o'clock. It's not a quilt in tomorrow. And then at 12, oh, let's have a look at the rebranding. Yeah. 12 o'clock quilt kits, instructions and books. Well, that's a nice day, isn't it? Right, I'm going. Check out your baskets. Now, I'll see you on Tuesday. So don't forget, I've got my Facebook Live tomorrow, uh, Sunday at four o'clock. I'm back in here Tuesday, Wednesday, NEC Thursday, back in here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So a bit of a long week next week. So I'll be a what's it husk of myself by the end of the week. Or I'll be so full of bourbons. Oh no, all the bourbons have gone. I had to look in the secret stash there. There's no bourbons left. I don't know. I think Hannah takes three packets every morning. That's why. Also, not the new security guard, not just dobbing him in, but we've got another security guard who wanders through and we're all just sitting there and he just takes a handful of biscuits like this and just walks out. And they're meant to be for guests only. I know. Anyway, what are you doing on Hobby Maker? Dreamies, dreamies. They've got dreamies coming up now. <coughs> I'm going. I'm going to have a lovely weekend. Hope you have a lovely weekend too. I'll see you uh, on Tuesday morning. <laughs>